Okay, I should I should no longer be talking to myself now. <laughs> I, I already started the stream, but I, I was forgot to actually set it to go live, so I've been talking to myself for a bit. Um, is it actually working now? Jeez. I've still got a lot to learn about this. I see people starting to type, then I'll assume that that'll mean it's actually working. <laughs> oh, okay, it should that should be live now. Okay. So today I have chosen to play as Oh, what is his name again? Crenverso of the Metal Mask. Yes. Uh, I like I like him because of his design, partially, and the backstory of his religion and culture. I like them being these somewhat forgotten people out east, uh, whereas the other cultures in the region are were, were more favored. The Imagians and even the Drenetti apparently were more well favored by the the adversarian overlords the uh, charchak were not treated the best wait is this i think i'm still talking to myself it says i'm not actually no okay that is that is good yes yes it is actually live now oh. I had to reset everything. Uh, I had to reset everything before. But now it, now it, it, I'm pretty darn sure it's working. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, it is actually live. That's that's good. <laughs> Sorry for making you you explain that to me. Uh, I've still still got a ways to go. I, I do I do find it somewhat amusing that there's <laughs> the clothing his clothing is um <laughs> there's a lot of I know things like that with the clothing where it sometimes overlaps but uh, this is you allegedly oh is he insane he's not insane is he why does it say that I thought only says it's you allegedly when when your character is insane or something hmm. Anyway, he's a living magic. He, he's a character who is quite skilled in living magic. An exceptional magi with his plus three magic per month. Which will come in handy, I'm sure. Okay, well, well, uh, thank you for showing. Uh, I appreciate that. And, uh, it seems that I, I finally managed to... Uh, it'll say if you're masked. Oh, I did not know that. I haven't played characters that are masked often, though I suppose that would be a frequent thing if you play literally anyone in here. <laughs> the, the massive Ironoi Empire title. Which would be nice to create my own empire title to just sight, uh, slice off the rivers here, but that's a... Uh, that's quite the step. First thing I need to do is focus on actually getting any of the holy sites other than the starting one, the Pict of Lilac Flames, and all of these are going to be quite challenging to take. Um, I may as well honestly close this because anyone who's who's wa gonna actually watch me will have already read this or has read it in the time that I've been rambling to myself, so I may as well close that. But, um... All of these people around here are significantly more powerful than me. Even the White Lion fellow over here, who's the only Amagian, uh, he's the closest Amagian to me, is a actually comparable in strength with his single mountain county. Oh wait, no, he actually has two counties. He's stronger than I thought. So, he is notable. He has certainly notable strength, but that's, that's nothing when you compare it to the the Drenetti, who are pretty much all united under one nation, uh, 
and these the horse worshipping people out to the east with their 3,500, and then the various squabbling members of the the Vashvili family, which is quite extensive and extended life. What is this? It's not. This is a new thing. I'm assuming. I don't think I've seen this before. This in five health and no points in his vampiric health pool, he'll lose the ability. Okay, I have seen this. Maybe it just changed, or something's causing the texture to be missing right now. And he is, he is a very significantly powerful magi, uh, more so than me, which... Hey, I'm sh yeah, I'm sure I've seen it before, so maybe something's just causing... I thought it had an icon. I, I, I seem to recall it actually having an icon before, but that doesn't matter. Not not at this time. Um, I'm expecting AI Vakten to just die on his own. Okay. Oh, it's been reworked and it's just missing a texture for now. No worries at all. Last time I was playing in this region, uh, up up as uh, Paranaz, uh, uh, he just died on his own. So I'm going to hope and pray that he, he simply doesn't get enough magic to heal himself and keep his unnaturally long life going, and I hope that happens before I have to come into contact with him. In the meantime, I should actually choose a lifestyle. Now, I would... See, see, he starts with uh, truth is relative, and his points here are spread across the life magic. Now, I would choose to, under normal circumstances, reset his perks and just go down into the blood magic because I want to get abominable servants for the, the blood thrall so I can try and overpower some of these more powerful nearby people. However, unlike the average character that I've played, he, he starts with Schemer, which is an, that, that's a mastery skill from Intrigue. And you'll notice that if I click reset perks, it will make me lose Schemer. And I've got Schemer for free. That's plus five Intrigue and Hostile Scheme success power. Now, I'm not sure how much I am going to Scheme. He's got a ton of, of Intrigue. So, theoretically, it would be a good idea. <laughs> if I could actually succeed at anything. Maybe try murdering some people. But typically, at this stage, trying to murder people outside of your realm doesn't have the best odds. So I would need to attempt to grab a bunch of agents to actually succeed at anything. Though, fabricating hooks is something, but that doesn't much matter against these people, unless I got a strong one to stop them from declaring war on me. So, step one, I suppose he can... And no, no extra wives? There's literally no one he can marry? Oh. Well, that's unexpected. And the council position is simply just the court mage. I oh no, who are you and why are you my spy master of all people? Zero intrigue. You don't even like me. What? Oh, because he's a uh, he's powerful vassal of some sort of commune, yes. Just some city here. Well, I don't much care, especially since he's a mastermind philosopher. Uh, someone else who's actually capable of doing the job. Like, Anzori. Anzori is rather capable by comparison, and if I get him to support schemes, I might actually be able to murder someone if I felt like it. It's a much better odds. But I don't need to murder anyone right now, so I'll just focus on disrupting schemes. I'm not exactly playing Ace Crace and needing to murder the big man. Though, if I could somehow murder Vakten, that would be good, or however you say his name. I doubt anyone can confidently say they know how to pronounce it. Well, there, we'll take a look at it. 45%? Hmm. I can... I can put that out there. See what comes of it. Now, kids, do they have... Yes, they do have... They do have magic. So I will be needing a court mage, and it would be a little risky to just leave it to chance that one will wander into my court to be hired as a guest. So I'm probably going to need to pay for the, the Magi searching decision. 
I'm just so frugal when I play these games. I hate having to spend money. <laughs> Even though it's very important. So that should be all. That should that'd be most of the setup. I can pass the limited crown authority. Um, do these people have any good settlements? This barony, actually, is a tier 2 castle. Uh, that would give me a lot more levies. It would be 2,000, and I can certainly afford it. Why didn't I notice that Charchak get an extra um, slot for... It says he's got one more from Charchak. Is that because of the innovations? Or just because of something to do with the culture itself? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's just saying that because of the ledger. Probably just the way they've re reorganized that information. And I, I really do like to ramble when I play these games, it seems. I should... Oh. Ah, power focus. Power focus. Well, more magically inclined children from the fertility. Extra magic generation. All of this will be useful. And the learning will only come in so much handy. I suppose I should pick a court position. Who, who could? Who could do that? It will, uh, the bishop likes me. Aptitude poor. I have not played this enough yet. What? Oh, how is he still poor? Yeah, well, he'll probably gain skill. Why would that cost me prestige? Oh, if I revoke it later. Oh, that, that won't be a problem. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's not going to kill me, I swear. He loves me. Look at him. Look at him. Um, anyone else I should need? I don't think there's anyone else. Extra growth. Hmm, that could be useful. It is really... That's so expensive. I should uh, I should leave that alone uh, for men-at-arms and building construction, of course. That's probably going to be more important. Now, I could... Oh, she's a good steward. I could revoke her good county, but if I do, then she's not going to be my steward. And she is a 21 stewardship steward, which is a mouthful. But collecting taxes, she's giving me a lot of income from that so I think I should leave her alone she won't she won't convert See, my two vassals start as being uh, different sects of my own religion which is somewhat irritating but they'll fall in line eventually I'm sure we'll figure something out at least now how much does my bishop endorse me yeah there's room for improvement and the fact that he's the one who's going to be tending my wounds means I should make him like me as much as possible. Now! Wait, why did my levy suddenly go up? Is that because of the... No, what did I do? Never mind. I've suddenly got... I've got 1,800 levies now, which is good. And I can declare war on a lot of these people around me, it seems. However, this republic... So all, all of the... Um... Yilaxa people are weaker than me currently uh, and there's the republic of my own people to the north which is much weaker than me however I have no Casas Belli on them so I could start fabricating claims on them but I think a better use of time for now would be to just leave them be and focus on gathering up the sheep. These these sheep herders around here. Do any of them have good cities? Any any of the higher tier? No, I don't I'm not bordering any really good stuff. Except this. Uh, this county right here has a regimental clearing building, which is actually very good for armies. Uh, six six hundred levies from this um the single barony here. That's very strong. Uh, including this upgraded berry groves. Which is just a lot of money and such. So I'll be attacking that name. Uh, well, that's his title. Bavad Mulraz. Or this place. Which one is that? Dushbega. Now, theoretically, 
other people of that religion that no one will ever pronounce correctly uh, will join uh, but I'm strong enough that they are very unlikely to do that in reality especially if he ends up attacking me soon practitioner of the arcane yes uh, she's acceptable it's better than nothing Oh, she has dreadful learning. Oh, fine. Fine. I shall educate my children, of course. I believe, unlike Adversarian, yes, this is a male-dominated culture, so... Or religion, so... It will only go... The land will only go on succession to my lisping son was a name very similar to mine, which probably means Crenverso's son. Just chop down the siege, then move on to their capital. If I don't need to. Oh! Okay, my scheme has been discovered. I should cancel that immediately. No need to get caught. You can save my reputation if possible. Okay, now the question is, is this religion male-dominated? No, it's equal. Okay. How much land do they own? They own a couple duchies. Turn down the music. Okay, thank you. I will do that. Specifically the music. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, hopefully that works. I, I appreciate uh, being <laughs> informed when the audio balancing is off. I uh, rarely go back to listen to it on my own uh, for more than 15 minutes at absolute most, so I, I don't get to hear how the audio balance is. But if, if anything's off with the audio balance, uh, people are more than welcome to inform me, and I will do my best to make it uh, the most clear that it can be. It looks like they're not even going to attack me. I'll just win this war for free, essentially. Get some nice loot. It should be like 20? Yes, 21. Oh, and I've captured someone. His wife. Maybe... Maybe he'll pay me for her. 50 gold, excellent. I will take that 50 gold. It'll pay for this war. And then some. Perfect, and now that I have another castle, which I can have up to five, I don't need to worry quite so much about taking one from my own vassals. Though, the question is, oh. Should I continue with... Oh, no, you are a bad marshal. How did I not notice this? Please tell me there's someone better. Uh, random courtier is better. You you will be. Uh, forget whoever that was. Some mayor or something. You don't need... You've created a faction against me? Well, 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 well. We don't, we don't have time for that. No. I was gonna refrain from taking your land. But if you're gonna do this, I don't think there's time for a legal discussion about this. I think it's time for me to simply walk over and take her excellent land. Then I can worry about who to conquer next. Liberty faction. How dare she? Who does she think she is? I am throwing her in prison right away. Or it'll have the same effect, regardless of what I do. Uh, which which is the most tyrannical? It's the same thing. I'll just try and imprison her. Round up all the dissenters, that is. Oh, is it a good idea for me to be leading? I don't actually have military skill. 
Leave my marshal in charge. Jeez. The other vassal has joined as well. Well, this is a good way to get rid of all the heretics, I suppose. He wasn't anyone important, was he? Oh, he was a chancellor? Ah, oh, there'll be someone better. Locked in rooms. Oh, is this a shy? No. Lazy. Yeah, I, th I thought that'd be a sin. That's definitely not something we want him to be. Craven? Oh, that's not a sin, though. Jeez, this is... This, this is a bad event. I don't want you to be any of these things, friend. Or son. Oh. Well, you certainly can't be lazy. That would be awful for a lot of things. Arbitrary is not the worst. Reduce stress gain into some natural dread. Yeah, that's fine. He can have that. Up for sale. Could go and just steal some stuff. I'll lose some some stress because I just gained some. It's no no one even knows. No tyranny gained. Actually, I think my own capital is a level two fort as well, so it will be harder for them to take it. Didn't expect to be having a civil war start this off. Oh, hopefully I just win the war when I take this, but I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't know if I can get there in time. And even if I do, it's actually a... Okay, okay. This is when I need to switch myself on. Because if I'm leading this army, then I won't be able to be captured when they take the city. So I'm pretty sure they will. Also, I captured someone. What should I be doing with you people? Nah, I'll figure that out later. Five days. Oh no. win this battle. Oh, that's very close. It's a good thing I put myself on. Oh. Four men remaining. Wow, I, I haven't had a fight that close in... I have no idea how long. My own capital's been sieged. Ugh. This is dreadful. Hopefully, I can siege their own last city. Assign some new council members. Sure, you'll do. I take this siege. No. Oh, no. I can't win that fight. I think I'm going to need to hire some mercenaries. No, I can't even do that. Um, yay, but my son's a mage. What a way to start this off. an even staring contest. What is my max? 2,000? Well, I can just sit. I can just sit for a while. You know what? I'm gonna sit and just let my army replenish. Oh no! I don't actually have enough. And then she goes ahead and dies. Why did she die? Internal injuries? Did you get hurt in the battle? Well, this has all been rather confusing. I guess my army size is back to normal. Um, yeah, get abominable servants. I might like having some blood thralls. <laughs> uh, I need a spy master. Not him. Whoever it is, it's not going to be him. 
And these people are immediately creating a liberty faction. Can I? You're a criminal. You're a known criminal. I, I have the right to revoke your land and imprison you. This man's probably just going to revolt as soon as I do that. Because he doesn't like me. I'm going to start looking weak in front of my neighbors at this rate. Okay, okay. This needs to be resolved. I don't like him, though. No, I have someone who actually... No, you don't like me. It says you're maimed. Oh, okay, maimed, not one-footed. Well, I can't have him be my spy master either. Who's someone who actually likes me? You like me. Just a knight. He, he can be my spy master. Why does my bishop not like me? Because the old one died. Okay. The old one is good. Now I need to... Oh. Okay, well, this is... Not gone the way I hoped it to would. Can I? I can't ritually sacrifice people yet. No, I haven't gotten essence of life. So I can't sacrifice these prisoners. Are any of them worth money? They're worth some money. You might actually be uh, useful as a member of my court. So please join. Shota is not, on the other hand. I don't think he's got anything that's particularly useful. But killing him, well, I would get some stress, but relief, but I'm callous. Didn't realize I'd be. Oh, 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 wait, no. If I demand things of him, I won't get stress from releasing him. Sure, you, you two can join my court. A notable, notable guest. He's a... Good commander, I doubt. Yeah, yeah, that's far too much money. I would never consider paying so much money for a commander. Can't replace you. Hmm. It's a rough situation I find myself in. But I can't just have this man sitting around. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for my manpower reserves to recover. Challenge rival to fight. You're my rival? I had no idea we were rivals. Well, hello. It looks like we're relatively evenly matched. Hmm. Lethal single combat? Sounds fair. We'll duel this man. Leader of the Republic of Javsgi. Only until first blood. Alright. I die where my heart belongs. <laughs> yes. Hmm. High risk of injury. Oh. Wait, this whole time my wife's been captured. So I am the vassal? Yeah, I really need to deal with him. That's unacceptable. What's gonna not give me... Attempt to ward yourself with magic? No. Some basic magic on him. He retaliates with smooth flowing of rapid thumps. Crushing thwax. insult him make him uh, make a mistake p p potentially I don't see any reason to just shout religious things at him that's not gonna that, that, that makes no sense given the context we're both we're both loyal followers.
I don't have many good options, other than warding myself with magic, I suppose. Okay. He shifts to the defensive, but he deflects all my blows. And I'm, st I'm slowly losing this fight, it seems. Oh boy. Strike, parry, repost seems like the best option there. Doesn't seem to be working at all. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. We have fairly equal prowess. Could try to disarm him, but I don't. That, that's unlikely. Blast him with magic again. And I lose. Hmm. Well, that's that, I suppose. Has not been. Ransom. No. War in the West. Yes, yes, the I'm sorry is fighting itself. I'm not going to pay you for my wife's return. You're my own subject. I don't know who he thinks he is. But he's a criminal. Nothing else. And this time, he doesn't have the support of the other vassal. <laughs> Divided they fall. He shall be punished for his betrayal. Defender of the Faith. I would like if he became zealous. That's the proper way for any... Thing. What's the god's name? Oh. I can't remember. <laughs> Rise ball has fallen. Yes. Valuable hostage captured. Your daughter's been captured. Oh, no. We're going to be some money. That's fine. I still don't have my wife back. What? Well, when I revoke his title, it should give me that. Back. Yeah, th thank goodness. Mm, then he, he needs to be executed. Thank goodness he's gone. Now, I could potentially move on the other vassal. I might even be able to just imprison him here and now. Though, it might be a good idea to move my troops into position. Okay. fight. So with this entire realm under my direct control, it will be... Oh. <laughs> I just 
just need. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I forgot that I'll need to increase my control in my capital again. After it was sieged. But yes, I'll, I'll have direct control over all of my land soon. I forgot. These people aren't the right religion. I'll have to stop them worshipping that shepherd. Play with fire. Wait, who was it? Him again? Excellent. My son will go far. And you would be worth something, I'm sure. Yes. Lots of ransom money. Foolish, foolish man. Though I'm not sure I'm going to be letting him go. Or executing him, for that matter. He is an advanced mage, which means that he would be worth a significant sacrifice once I get my next skill point, that is. Now, having all this land under my direct control may have given me more men-at-arms in the long run. It has caused a lot of it's a lot of problems. Oh, my rival has sent me a plush and exotic carpet? Oh, how thank you. Thank you so much. I would love this. No. No, he does not. He does not get to give me a carpet. He needs to go. He needs to go. I actually stopped. I, I, I gotta start increasing control again. What were the modifiers on this? Neutral? Neutral? What does that mean? Minus 10% from neutral. Oh, yes. The local culture is affecting it here. Hmm. Never mind that, I guess. Both of these neighbors... Oh, no, he actually has an ally. A weak one, though. That should not be too much of an issue. I'll creep along the coast, then. Let's take Seko. Though it might be a good idea to wait for my men-at-arms to replenish a little more. But I've got some money, so maybe I should... Reinforce my own men-at-arms. After all, I believe... I believe that this uh, culture has... Yes, adaptive skirmishers. So skirmishers and archers are cheap. What does everyone typically use around here? Is it... Uh, are, it is, do most people use archers? Light footmen. Everyone's starting with lots of light footmen. So instead of increasing my own... Uh, light footmen regiments... Not raise all, no. I will add a new one. Some nice archers who will provide a decent counter to a lot of the neighbors. Get it to level 3. Excellent. But it will be costing me quite a bit until they're fully replenished. So I'll wait for that. And men need not fear as lives depart. Though it may tear their grievers apart, tis rare enough for men to admit that all they leave behind is shit. Well, that's an that's an interesting poem, yes. Greatest artistic mind. Yes, he's definitely the greatest artistic mind of his age. He, and, and he should become a journaler. Because that's good. That's, that's a handy thing to have. Right? Because I can now write my thoughts down. To cope. I could cast a spell. Oh, making acquaintances? Could become gregarious. 
what the religions what is the religion think about these things yeah it doesn't mind gregarious though he's not exactly good with diplomacy so him being someone who likes to talk might not be the best greedy is nice for just having lots of money i think i'll i think i'll let him be greedy makes he's absolutely dreadful with his people skills but you know what when you're a living magic uh well not ad master but when you you're a user of living magic you don't tend to need to talk to people as much i really should get another court physician hmm my knight will have to do have a child a daughter she's also a lisper we're all lispers in this family um no no ah oh, peasant revolt i i think i'm going to need oh, it's so expensive i can't afford that i can't afford to have someone who increases control for me way my bishop that's right she's not a big fan which is a big problem in the alukovic religion um what would she what would she think is important nah i, I, I won't bother with that map there's a hunter in the local tavern Someone's trying to kill me still. I hate this. Who's... No, I know who's trying to kill me. It's my rival, and he needs to be put down. It's a problem. And he's got 15 gold, too. Yeah. All right, I'm imprisoning him. And then I'll make him pay me to let him out. Gift. Yeah, yep, yep. Sending me gifts. Not feeling well. Severe penalty. Oh, no. I'm still wounded. Don't. Don't let me die now. Uh, no, no, don't execute him. We need all the fighters. All the fighters I can get my hands on. Alright, he needs to die. Are you, he's on support scheme still. Oh no, that needs to be changed. He needs to help keep me alive, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try murdering my rival now. This, this is a problem. Uh, so I need those bowmen to reinforce. Oh, wait. Perks. Perks. Life wards. I, I actually think I might need to take the life wards right now because I'm taking... Uh, I have such bad health. It's still poor. This is this is bad. Please. Not feeling well until 66. And wounded. Please. Please, court physician, help. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh, no. Am I going to lose prestige from that he doesn't like me because i i could bend. oh no oh hmm because i forcibly recruited him maybe i shouldn't have picked someone that i forcibly recruited I have never seen this county before the Varrock Cathedral. Hearth Watchtower. Oh! Intrigue per level. That is interesting. Most curious tower, only accessible. Long gliding mountain path, fraught with danger. Huh. Oh. 
interesting. It blends right into the surroundings. An ex oh, oh, I can try and kill him with an exotic weapon. Sure. 33% chance. I'm, I don't care. I, I want him gone. Did not kill him. It's a secret. Okay. I'll have to leave it alone for now. But yes, I, I now have my men at arms. He's a okay, this is an attack. Who is he? He's doing a holy war for me, uh, against the skin changer guy. The shape changer mixed magic guy down there. I Yeah, I'm not don't have enough devotion to do a holy war for the duchy. It would be nice if I could go on a pilgrimage. But it would cost a lot of gold. Maybe if I hadn't spent so much on my archers. Would have been able to declare a holy war for the duchy. Instead, I'll have to... Manage with just his coastal one. Oh, okay, yes, this audio balance. I can I can hear it. It definitely seems a lot better to me. So I'm glad, I'm glad I was asked to change it. His ally has joined, but that will matter little. Back. This might actually be a problem. All his men are just sieging my relatively poorly maintained territories. Maybe this will give me the chance I need to siege his capital. If I take that, the war will mostly be over. Those mercenaries. No, just four men. It's not worth me uh, ending this siege for. I think I've got enough control in my capital that I can afford to change it to another place. New religious mo new religious movement. Who? What the? You crazy fool! Militant cliques. He started a new. You crazy man! He's brought back a dead adversary in faith. I guess a Magian was very low on fervor. This crazy man! Brutally mauled? What happened to you? Dying vampire has only has been unable to secure the vampiric is distance by draining others, ensuring their demise. Infected wound, this poor man. But I have to say, I knew it was going to happen. Interesting. I, I the the dynasty flag changed. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Well, I'll continue on with my own business. Expectations. My own son, yes. I I want to be friends with him. I don't need I don't need him thinking he owes me anything. The white lion has, has joined the militant cliques religion. <laughs> oh my god! What happened? What just happened? Where, where? Well, he's dead. He just died from his wounds. And now, now that religion that he started is, is kind of, it's kind of lost its major supporter. 
what says this? Okay, these people are also that religion. The white lion is underneath her. What is what is this war? Yeah, it's, I don't. The Amagians are fighting amongst each other. That's that's nothing new, and I don't need to care about that. Three, actually. Okay, he's he's not bad at all. Maybe I pay a little bit of attention to my daughter. Yeah, she can stay within three. Available perks: generate magic from sacrifices. I think that would be very nice. But he's still not feeling well. I should have taken the healing waters one. That was probably a mistake because I'm still uh, of. Rivals lost a title, and I've, I've gained... Yeah, yeah, okay. I've gained some stress relief from that. That's good. And I'm dead! Oh! Oh, joy. Yeah, I should have taken the healing waters. Oh, no! Oh no! Just as he became of age, his father dies. Who are you people? I need to marry him to someone. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. I need to marry him. Okay. Okay, who? I guess, I guess he could marry her. He can have multiple wives, so it won't matter too much. That, that she's she's older than him. Does that get him alliance with? He could al ally his father's enemy. I I don't want that though. All right, let's get a marry her. Right, what are his skills? He's just come of age, so he... Uh, yes, wow. This is... Not the best situation. So wear a crown. No, oh, no, he needs... He needs a crown. Um... Yeah, it was pretty bad luck. <laughs> oh. You can have a you can, you can have a shitty crown. I'm in debt, and he didn't like my dad. Okay, that, that makes sense. I need money. You fools. I could end this war, but I need, <laughs> I need the money. Yeah, I, I don't care about my wife, no. My yes, I I did all of this. Give me the prestige. Also, you should stop being whatever that religion is. Just an adequate coronation. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. This whole situation is gonna be just fine. Yes, she's pregnant. This is good. This everything is good. Also, did I pick this thing? Yes. It's, it's, give me the, okay, Chancellor. You need a chancellor. It, it can be the shitty guy, he, as long as he likes you. The bishop needs to like you as well, actually. And Stuart, 
he, he can he can just tolerate it. But spy master needs to be someone that likes you. Opinion of me, mother, mother, dear. she's depressed though. Mother is depressed. Fine, depressed mother will be spy master. Really bad court magi is still around. Well, now I've got two territories that need to be handed off to someone. Uh, oh dear. Hey lady, I don't know, you 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 just appeared out of thin air, and and you will be the ruler of this place. Now I need someone else. I've got too much land. Oh my gosh, the only place that's at one hundred percent control is not in the duchy that I want. I can resolve this later. I should probably make him like me if possible. He wants a seat on the council, well... Who are you? He's just a mare, it doesn't matter. Okay, who's, who, who needs a seat? Okay, this vassal actually does not hate me. So, that will work. Okay. I might be able to stabilize the situation. That was that was rough. He is still a mage, and he's going to learn magic. He's going to do it. Uh, Liberty faction. I thought you like me. Don't do not do this to me. Who am I scheming against? I want to I wanna make her like this. Of course, that's good. Okay. Okay. Daughter and heir. Aya, Aya, that's that's the name. You. No, not Pin. Uh, actually, I should just educate her. He randomly decided to no longer be doing liberty. Is he slowly getting... No, he's slowly losing opinion of me. What... Well, the short rain thing should go away eventually. At least. Oh, yo, he's got a must. He's got a. He's got a beard. He actually kind of looks nice. I don't have a truce with the the talker. His name is the talker. Okay, he's all talk. Oh no, I do not have piety. He is zealous though. He will go on a cheap, cheap pilgrimage, probably. This is one that's for just a hundred. There's no, yeah, all the holy sites are here. Where could he, where should he go? He should go to, um, Firegate. Is it going to say that? That one. 
Yes, he's gonna go to the fire gate. Time to depart, yes. Need need lots of piety. To take all of the lands from the Zash Bashnach. Zax Backsnacks. Backsnacks Zax. Those ones. Bandits. Well, he's a mage. So and of course he didn't. Of course he failed to fight them off. Also my core physician doesn't like me. That's that's not good. But but he did treat me well, okay. Pilgrimage ends, but I don't have any long pilgrimages, so I don't even think I can take I can get to the um pilgrim trait. Maybe if I marry the bishop, she'll like me more. Not enough. Sheesh. No, she doesn't like me again because of non-monogamous. I didn't even know that was a trait. At least he's getting devotion and such from these battles. Okay, can I can I hold more land if I get her to manage domain? I could. It's still zero control though, so maybe that's not worth it. I'll, I'll leave it that way for now, though. I will hold it for now. It's an ally. Speaking of, do people have allies? And these, these people along the coast, they're ripe for the picking. I can simply declare holy wars because of the Alo COVID people think everyone's hostile, but only a few people think are hostile towards them, which is kind of funny. Okay, what, what can he do? Start with the blood. Sunkier pain. He can afford to flagellate, I think. He's fine. He's a lot of magic power. And he's valuable. He is valuable. In fact, he's worth 200 gold. Uh, no, he's worth 50 gold, precisely. If I'm lucky, I'll capture their leader in this siege, and I'll see just how valuable he is. Daughter, yes. Another one. Can I? Okay. Can I stop? And now. Stop, stop um, swinging, and maybe now that she likes me, I can actually romance her. No. Okay. No. She, she hates the fact that I'm greedy. Okay, well, it was, it was worth a try. Also, the court physician doesn't like me, but I need that money from having my bishop. got a kid just in my dungeon now. Some blind Charchak guy. He's blind. I may end up getting it back immediately. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but yeah, you can you can be ransomed. This kid, I don't Yeah, yeah, I'll... Uh, I want to let him out, but he has to be indoctrinated away from the weird sheep religion first. He's a bastard, too. 
for no reason in particular, I'm going to I'm going to have this guy educated. And I'm going to mark him. He's going to grow up as a right and proper member of society. Oh yes, my mother can marry. <laughs> get an alliance with that one vassal. There's not much that could do. But you know what? Uh, maybe she'll have some kids. <laughs> also, also, it's nice to see. Nice to see you here, Panzer. As always. Uh, though... Uh, Cred Verso, uh, died even faster than, what is his name? Parnaz did last time I was playing, so. Uh, as per the usual, I suppose. Usual for me. Yeah, I'm, oh, actually, why are you doing so bad right now? Oh wait, these guys are probably... Yeah. What did my kid do? I don't have kids. Really. First game. Performance increase. Um... I'm not sure... Yes, yes it is. I, I haven't streamed for a few days, so yes, I do believe it is. What? Yeah, but I don't know. What did my kid do? Oh, yeah. Um, my my kid. Not not my kid. Um, so I I captured some random bastard kid who is a lowborn in in the war I was in last so I, I decided I would convert his religion and release him and then just educate him myself and I'm going to convert his culture he's going to grow up as a member of my court I don't know what he's going to do but he's going to do something Yes, I didn't. I didn't throw my own, my, my own children, my own uh, two-year-old daughter <laughs> in prison. Arg. I do actually have a decent amount of soldiers now, though. Lots of holy wars going on. Whatever happened to the militants? They're vassals that are militant still. Yeah. So, uh, Dracula, before he died, decided that instead of being a Magian, he should switch to being militant. Militant clique. Which was very strange, and then a bunch of people around here all switched, and then immediately afterwards, Dracula died, and his, his um, niece inherited or something, and she wasn't that religion, so now it's all a mess. Not that I'm going to complain, that's how I like it. Anyway, yes, daughter is bossy now. Also, is her name the Young? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I could declare war for duchies now with this guy, but I don't have the piety for it. I could convert the culture, uh, but I'm not sure I care enough yet. And out here, I'll just let my vassals take care of that sort of thing. But I think these guys... Okay, they're allied to them and them. I can probably take out the Denarfi. Oh, I didn't actually know that it was the same culture all the way out to here. Yeah, I could probably take out the Denarfi before their allies show up.
really starting to run out of piety at this point. Good, I hated him. Yeah, but no one's good to replace him. Fine. I'll make do. Yep, you just sit there with your 3,000 men, ignoring me while I win. Oh, I took a lot of people in that siege, actually. You are worth 50 gold, so I'm actually going to wait, because I can afford to get that gold. Fighting these wars is expensive, don't you know? And then, again, someone else out here. Oh, this is a good place. This is a farmland. Ah, that's nice. Unfortunately, that's too far away for me to worry about, so some char -jack person can have it. I'd like to make my capital in here at some point, because of the really nice terrain. Though, the I the absolute ideal would be for me to actually steal someone else's uh, grand city. However, this place is good, as I was saying. It, it is, um, it is floodplains. Though, you can't make... Oh, you can make regimental grounds here. That's a very good building. Hmm. Though the farmlands are where you can actually make the manor houses, which are huge amounts of money. So, terrain's pretty important. I just I want more piety. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I made him zealous, which because that helps a lot. He doesn't have much learning, does he? No. Not that great. Harsh judgment. Just as okay. Well, no, just as actually pretty good. But there's gotta be... Temperate's also really nice, though. In fact, I think Temperate would be the best there. Though, actually, he's not one of... This isn't the one that's my kid. <laughs> uh, what am I gonna make you? Yeah, you can be a steward. be good at. Yeah, I'll just make him a steward. What's happened over here? Huh? I, I have never seen whatever this is. What happened to the Fenver? <laughs> what, what happens to... Uh, what is going on? This is a new title. I can't look at the history. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's got the Fenver. Clanric has a title as well. Conquered by Claimant. This isn't... This isn't, like, a script thing, I don't think. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Uh, scheme right, Court. Please, I need to disrupt schemes. Okay. 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 He's already hurt himself. He's already hurt himself. No need to smack himself any more than he already has. Oh, they took out... They took out what's-his-face. Um... What? No, I want to look at the county. Magic perk available, good. 
I like this guy. This guy is very entertaining. Living Magic Master, Exceptional Magi, and he he's a Black Fraternal as well. That's a I, I like I like this guy's starting position here. It, it's tricky, but it if you can make it work, it's very satisfying to pull off. Do I have any prisoners that would make it worth? I do have a prisoner. Is she worth money? I gain some piety if I execute her though. How much? Uh. Hmm. Well, I don't even have anything to actually spend my magic on yet. So, I'll just uh, execute her and reduce my stress to get myself some piety. I need piety for these wars, after all. Oh, they're not weak anymore. Maybe I should have taken the chance. Oh, but he's only allied to his own vassals, isn't he? Nope, nope. One ally, that's a thousand men. He's got uh, 2,700, so he's got about as much as me. I have a new son, and he is my heir. He's skipped over his uh, female siblings. Maybe I should educate. I should probably educate him myself. I want him to become zealous. Maybe even greedy, but though that doesn't matter as much. Someone will still educate you, though. My mother can educate this kid. But of course, yes. My son and heir must be educated by me. Oh, actually, maybe I should pin uh, Senware. I usually do that. What's he actually at now? He hasn't killed Majestos, but... Not yet. Not yet, at least. Whatever happened with... Um... Okay. Eurydanus has... Uh, surrendered, as I assume he typically does. Maybe he always does that. No! No, you do not have permission to die. You're a gifted magi. You're, you're a better mage than me by a long shot. He's far too powerful. <laughs> Magistos is far too powerful to be yeah, with these with these traits, yeah. He but he's definitely far too powerful to be taken out by some mere barbarian. Taking them all out. mountains no i could i actually have money again that's nice I, d I didn't notice i suddenly have money again wound has healed finally oh i'm scarred i scarred myself my flagellation Another son? Oh no! Dimitri. I don't like you. I wish you were never born, son. You're only gonna cause problems. Why are all of my children sickly? No! Though for someone who's saying that he doesn't want multiple sons, I, it's kind of odd for me to be married to three women. All of which are still at the right age to have kids. <laughs> well, that's, that's a... 
That's brutal. There it is. I don't want to start sounding. I don't want to start sounding like anyone's dad yet. Eastern Adversarian, okay. Adversarians are pushing in. Though, that actually could pose a problem if they succeed, because that'll mean that Senware is probably going to roll up into a Magia. Because he's, he's not showing any signs of stopping soon. He doesn't have cancer. Not that that would stop him. Have another son, okay. Name him after your your father. Zipoetes. Why do everyone everyone hates him? Oh yes, yes. Steal. Steal the money. Lift the siege. I kind of hope he doesn't this time. I hope I hope Senware doesn't have to go on chemo, or no, no chemo. I would like to see him make his way over here, though he is about to kill Garasos, and it's always sad to see him go. Garasos is such a fun. Yay! The, I guess the the one one of the kids I didn't want is dead. The, this one's still sickly. Stop being sickly. You need to live. I would like it if Senware got all the way up here. At the same time, because it's always it's always fun to see the the way that the land uh, takes shape. Uh, you are gonna be worth a lot of money, right? Twenty-five. A lot of kids. You have a lot of kids, and you're willing to pay me a lot for each one, huh? You poor man. I'm gonna sell each of them back to you individually. You're gonna give me the big bucks for all of those kids. Thank you, my good sir. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. And now this can just go to another star check. <laughs> yeah, I don't I have no idea why he cares about his kids. It's so strange. I mean, if my kids were you know, captured by some invading force, I would just leave them. I want to get rid of this guy, but I don't want to spend the time fabricating a claim on him. This is a really nice city, but it's on the wrong side of the river. Holy War for what? Excuse me? You have decided... The horse boys have decided that they are going to declare a holy war. Not for... Not for this city or anything. Or this one, even. Not, not for any of these big cities down here. They're gonna... They're gonna go for the... Island of whatever this is. Well, more power to them. They're, they are... They are very welcome to do that. I, I, I need more piety. Can someone please give me piety? I need to wait until the 79th to get more. Wait. I can host feasts in the summer for piety. 
Not that I know what the game considers summer. Maybe I should murder this child. Probably. That, that, that gave me piety. Seahorses. You know, that sounds pretty cool. You know, I agree with them. I, I would like a seahorse. Peasant rabble? Yeah. You, know, but you, you, you come to expect the peasant rabble at this point. They'll, they'll all be following the correct faith soon enough. All in due time. The, but speaking of meantime, I should probably spend some of that money. What, what should I do? Could start upgrading some stuff. Is that okay? That is actually in this duchy. That's good. It's only three. It's only three places, right? Yeah. Okay, it's good that I've got that then. <laughs> this is like an actual issue. I was wonder. I was thinking if I should mention that the whole. The consistency of your entire setting hinges on whether or not seahorses are canonically a thing, and if so, are they known as seahorses, or as some other vague term that is, in all reality, just a, a couple words uh, that you took off of Google Translate that essentially mean the same thing? It's a, it's a difficult question, I know. Perk? Hmm. Well, I may as well get the essence of life. Oh, yeah, I already killed the kid. It is sea dragons, not sea horses. Ah, yes. <laughs> that sort of question. Spider bear, ostrich bear, no, just a bear. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. Every everything in Avatar is is um it, um what are they? They're wolf bats. That's a thing. In, in the caves, they don't have normal bats. They've they've got wolf bats because they're a, a bat, but they they have like a wolf's hind legs. <laughs> It's not going to tell me what the summer is, so I need to use my actual brain and be like, which which month, which numbered month in the year is the summer? <laughs> and then I need to figure out what the game actually considers summer. Uh... So I guess I'd be safe if safest if I went on, like, the sixth month. More magic kids. Please tell me I've still got the court physician. Court physician, not court. Court mage. <laughs> this could be all the money. I need to make sure that the priest always likes me because it's going to be a lot of important priesties in this place. Can I? I I I see the um. I just I wonder about changing county capitals. Do I need to to change the county capital? Would I need to actually? Yeah, I'd probably need to actually own the place I'd change it to. Duh, of course. What am I thinking? Uh, player airs a rowdy kid. Okay. Well, hopefully that means he's gonna survive to be a good fighter. Growing strong. Yes. Hog. 
hype. Let's go and all that. Okay, on the 6th, I'm going to have a feast so I can get all the piety and then prepare for the big duchy wars that are probably going to happen optimistically. Another kid. Parnaz. Sure, you can be Parnaz. A nice lisping Parnaz kid. He's got quite a few kids now. Someone should educate you as well. Just that random guy. Evening Reflections. Yes! Oh, what does he write? His father wrote something. What man does not hope to rest when tired, no matter his wealth and treasure acquired, and hope only for memory's grace that their history's friends... Their history finds true place? What man does not hope to rest when tired, no matter his wealth and treasure acquired, and hope only for memory's grace that their their history finds true place. Truly, I am one of the greatest artistic minds of my age. Yes. Well, I just I just give him a journal. Or it's it's nice because he can cope with stress. Not that he does much that gives him stress, actually. But the learning's good. Learning's good for a mage. Magi. Wait, I missed it. Wait. Is this is this summer? Yeah. That should be summer. <laughs> Not that he does much that causes stress. <laughs> yeah. He, most of what he does actually calms him down because because he's arbitrary and zealous. So even though he does some weird stuff, he, he he's pretty chill with it. Uh ah. Oh, this whole time I've been stressing. And it just tells me. He fights. He carries the hopes of the entire Charchak people with him. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years of some extra. No. Because he'll get stress? No. no the, the, the prestige is nice. The prestige is nice. He can take the stress. And then afterwards he'll write about his thoughts. Bad reaction to food. No. friends with my vassal. Oh, wonderful. Glorious. I am distinguished. Soon I can into devoted servant. Oh, it's because of my culture that I'm... No. Where is it? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to be making people... People are supposed to be learning. No, oh, he's bad at learning, though. Okay, literally everyone else. No, okay, maybe not literally everyone else. But I want I want kids to, to learn. Okay, I don't care if you... I don't know who you are. You're one of my kids. Someone else can educate you. You learn the ways of knowledge. Someone else educate you. You learn knowledge. Wait, no. Women don't fight in this culture. Nor can they do much other than, like, maybe become priests. That's fine, though. She could still do it, because she knows magic. Sort of. She might. That'll help. Who are you? Every woman for herself. You. My wife. Uh, th th Sleeve. What's she doing? She used to talk with me. Oh, she wants me to not have a hook on her anymore. Get a get a, a hook on Who? Him? My vassal? Sure. Blackmail him. 
He refused? Fine. Well, then everyone knows that he's a sodomite. Isn't that wonderful? Everyone knows he loves men. Wow. Yes, convert. Convert the religion. Still attacking people, okay. Down there. Still got that little bit of land, okay. Well, you don't have friends. Uh, I could just take the rest of that duck. Yeah, <laughs> I just outed this dude. Listen, I, I mean, he is homosexual, so it was probably it was pretty obvious from, from my point of view. But it's like, listen, I wanted to change. I wanted to change his feudal obligation to squeeze some extra money out of this man who's hemorrhaging gold, and and he's scaly and blind. You know, I just seem really mean. Jeez, I just this poor man. This man is dying. This dying, scaly man, he just... He's lived his whole life and no one knew his secret that he's been ashamed of his whole life. Because it goes against his religion. And then... And then he's nearing the end of his life and I just... I just tell everyone. <laughs> oh no. I am awful. I am so awful. No better than the adversarians. That's okay because he looks damn fine. He can he can he can afford to be evil. Your hook on who? Him? He's a vassal. What, what would I even do with that? He's got a city. I don't I don't need a hook on him. Even tempered. Um. It it does. <laughs> does it does it actually? What is? I don't actually remember what what they're yeah because they got equal gender laws. Um. It's shunned. What's it here? So it must be that must mean it's like actually uh, illegal here. Uh, no, it's the same. Male adultery is shunned though. Okay. Um, forgiving's probably bad. No, no, it's not. I don't really care what she gets. She can be forgiving, because that'll be good for learning, because that's what you're going to do. Tricked ya, girly. You thought you were going to learn warfare, but you're not allowed to fight. I was friends with you? Friends with this dude? I had no idea. And or not? What? Oh no. My vassal has alarming secrets. G please tell me. She's a deviant. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna blackmail her too. She's a hundred percent gonna tell me because she's scared. She better be scared because I'm gonna use this to enforce something on her. She can't she can barely pay me anything. Wow. Wow. <laughs> G give me money. <laughs> Even more money. <laughs> of your nothing. Prisoners. You're worth money too. Everyone's worth something. The lesson of the day. It's the lesson of the day. Everyone is worth something. You can, oh, you're worth 50. That's a lot of some things. Yes. You're not worth an, all of the money. And 
I'll gain piety if I execute you. Uh oh. I've noticed three fingers. Why have why have I noticed three fingers now? Because I'm scarred? What? I mean it's a cool name. Kind of surprised though. Uh war, yeah. It's calling me to war. What is this war? It's the other side of the world. I'm not actually gonna do anything. Uh, but I will get that guy to pay me the rest of his money so that he goes into debt. Because that's funny. And I'll take I'll take the eight gold from his territory as loot. Ha! Wait. Did I accidentally decline that request to join war? I think I did. What happened? to me, but you're also fighting me? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Because it's not going to be relevant soon. Dominate. Beguiling presence. I mostly just want to work down to Master of Life, honestly. I don't care all that much about this. It's these guys. Sure. finish that to at least above 80. Combatant captured in battle. Wow, so much money! I mean, I could be sacrificing people, and I probably should be, but... But damn, is he not a greedy boy. Again, I captured him again. Oh, this poor man. I think, or maybe I should save him for a special day. How much will you give me? One? No, no. Maybe I, I won't save him for a special day. special. It's only giving me one magic. It's nothing. It's pathetic. Give me money instead. And of course, all of the demands. Excellent. The cruel. That's a lot of prestige. Okay, what's... Oh, the Shivalki have uh, shown up. What happened here? Did they surrender? Yeah, they just joined. Oh, the Legion is still here. Heraclius the Kind of Sterian. He's got chronic headaches. Poor man. Poor man. I want... No wonder he's got chronic headaches. He's commanding the Legion and surrounded by the Shivalki. Hmm. Oh, jeez. I've got two new territories that need to be handed out to some poor sucker. You know what I'd like to do? Which I don't really think is an option. Unless I... Actually, wait. Yeah, yeah. I can just I can just remove you. I want to see if this works. No! No, I'd spend... I'd spend faith doing that. Oh... So what I want to do, I, what I wanted to do, is remove uh, the people, uh, take take the uh, theocratic title uh, from these these new territories, and then make the theocracy the new um, uh, the new primary holding of the duchy. But maybe no, he's the wrong culture. They're all that culture. Where's that, where's that even from? I don't even know. What, what is this? That's weird. 
What about you? Are you also that culture? Oh, he's a char track. What I want. Uh, what happens if I give him? If I just give that guy this? That does make it a theocracy. Ooh, spicy. He's a eunuch. Funny. Funny eunuch man. Well, look at that. I've got a bunch of theocracies popping up. Gonna have some spicy little theocratic vassal action going on. Hmm. I could just snatch this. But what is this kingdom doing? Did they actually win that war? They did! Look at this! Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, Egg is gone. That's a shame. Poor Egg. But Esterax. Esterax took him out. Wait, who owns this? Oh, the people that are supposed to be the Three Cities League. Tragic. Tragic that this is not working properly. But, uh, th yeah, the Three Cities League still own that. Um, and Esterax... The Glorious is doing acceptably. So he really should be taking this... Like, he's, he's not... Get going. Get going, man. No languages here. Should I learn languages? No, I don't... I, ignore that. I'm gonna leave that be. Uh, dangerous faction. Yes, there is a single... Rowdy group of peasants. Somewhere. Can I have a new bishop? No, she's just bad, but I want someone who's good. All of the land I control myself is my own religion, though, which is good enough, and I will let her continue religious relations for now. I could have my steward start to promote culture in the places that I control directly. He's not making me much money anyway. In fact, can I replace him with someone finally? I would really like that. Yes, you, please, please, someone, ten years instead, oh, thank goodness. He's so incompetent. Take twice as long. Everyone's lisping in this family. 69, opinion of me as well. Win, war, war one. Uh, you're actually of the right religion. That's nice. I don't even need to demand that you change your religion to join me. Actually, what was his stats? I didn't even notice. I, I just automatically recruit them at this point. He has. He, st he still hates me, though. For obvious reasons, but... Um, cultural acceptance is quite bad. I should get rid of them. I should really... Um, steal the money. Yes, I stormed the wood easily. Perfect. Um, I really should just convert these cultures. There's just not enough of them. It would be funny if I made a combined Charchak Yelashaz culture. Uh, but that's... They're both so small, I just need to get rid of them. I just need to, like, make all of this Charchak. It would be another like, another story if I was playing a small a minor character on the other side of an empire, but you know, if if I end up doing well enough, then maybe one of my vassals will uh, diverge. Wait, you're allied to someone? Probably one of my vassals. No, even more pathetic. It's one of your own vassals. I think it's time that I got rid of him. Who do I have truces with? Just them? Oh, that means it's your time to go. These poor sheep people. These poor sheep people. They're gonna get absolutely steamrolled. Play with fire. Child. Child go whoosh. Yes. Honesty. Honesty's fine. Deceitful. Oh, I don't want my children being dishonest uh, with the ones that are supposed to be in charge, so I'll leave it as that. I'll, 
I'll let her be honest. I should probably work on Offmer. He's still around. It's kind of funny. Oh, it's um. Blood Moon. I don't have any prisoners anymore, though. That would be really good if I can get some prisoners from this siege, though. Hey, who are you? You're probably worth something, aren't you? But you know what? I have a sinking suspicion, friend, that you and all that magical talent of yours is worth a little more as a sacrifice. Oh, he's worth fat stacks. Nice, 88. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Anyone else? Anyone else? Please, more captives. More captives to sacrifice to the moon. Yes. Yes. Lots of them. Please. Oh, only worth two? Only worth two? Your random 12-year-old? He's not worth anything. Darn. That means he's probably worth more. These are all gonna be just... Wait. He's worth five. Eh. Whatever. I'll take the five. Oh, have I, accident I accidentally clicked to do it. Oh, and you're actually a mage. 85. Well, I guess I killed them all. I didn't even mean to kill the first one. Well, they gave me a lot of magic, so that was worth it. I still don't have anything I'm spending it on right now, but you know, maybe one day I'm gonna need a ton of um, blood thralls? Blood thralls, yeah. Maybe I should just make some. Just make some now. Only 35% chance of success there. And this is still actually risky. Cost 200 and has a, has a decent chance of failing because I'm not actually that great. He might have to deal with a level 0 version of the spells. Oh dear. Yeah, there we go. And after that he doesn't have enough for any more than a level 1. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave him... He's clearly not the best at what he's doing. Can I see how much I'm actually being paid by each vassal? Not my rightful liege going on, yeah. Being given pitiful amounts of money from a lot of these people. Dominate. Honestly, I'm not making enough. I'm not making enough magic for it to be worth it. To take power focus for that increased percentage. I just want to be able to succeed. He got severely injured by that. Oh, that's not good at all. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have risked it. I knew it was so dangerous. Oh yes. The true faith is spreading nicely. And my vassals are all doing it on their own.
What's the control like in my other places? Really bad. I just need 200 to declare a holy war on these guys for a duchy. Would be really good. But they do have friends. No, oh, that's right, they're just Yeah, they they they're definitely take uh definitely doable. Oh my gosh. The, the horse guys, uh, the ho horsemen have taken, or uh, what is it called? L something a pole? Oh, they've changed the name. Aznalef. Okay, you're actually, you're actually pretty good. Black Fraternal? Really? The Black Fraternal guys revolted? <laughs> oh, that's funny. The Black Fraternal guys revolted and now they're... Winning? They look like they're winning to me. Oh, 99. I'll take the cost. I, this is actually going surprisingly well for a game where I immediately lost my character. I'm getting a lot of magically inclined children, which may or may not be a bad thing. Uh, counselor down. Magi down. Vassal. Lady's actually really good. Oh. The master? I'd really like if this guy actually got some skill. I'd, I'd like if my son and heir actually. I lost that battle and I didn't notice because I didn't actually have a commander on that army. I, I am such a such a brain. I am so smart. I captured an ugly girl. Oh, looks like it's time for burning. No. Wait. I lose piety because... Well, I'm not sure why I lose piety for that, but... I won't. I won't sacrifice her. Or Craven, or well, arbitrary is fine, I guess. This is the same, same thing, same thing with these. Okay, mother's dead. Mother is dead. Right. 
write about it. How does that make you feel? Your mother's dead. Now, how does that make you feel? I'm sure that will help. Yes, more children. How many children do I have? I have 13 children. One of them died. Kid. Captured kid. Give me money for kid. That's how this works. Excellent. That's kind of cool. I, I don't mind having some diversity in leadership types around here. The military unit's still around, actually. The Apokiakas. Though they haven't expanded the Apokiakas culture. Hmm. The Theogumbrians are still around. I really like, I think the Theogumbrians are really cool. I, I, I want to play Theogumbrian sometime. There, there's something about, something about their, their, dis, their, um, description, the description of their, uh, religion that is really interesting to me. They seem to have a lot of insights into the world that most people don't understand. And that's kind of fun. Oh, my prisoners. Any money? Any money? Can I kill you? No, you're actually one of us. And since you're one of us, war declared by the White Lion. Oh, no. Oh no! You be no. You marry someone because you need to find someone who's a uh, smart. Um, inheritable traits. Find a smart. Or ooh, Cthulians. Those are cool. Uh, find him a magic, or someone with big brain, or both. age. Someone who's actually relatively close to him with appropriate genetic traits. Speaking of appropriate genetic traits, I don't think it needs to be argued that genius is a very th appropriate trait. Uh, very much. Very much would like. Okay. Please. Give alliance people. Would you take a matrilineal one. Yes, you would? Oh, you're kind of crappy. And you're probably going to drag me into a losing war sometime, but you know what? That's fine. That's just fine, because I will stay here and not do anything about it. Because you're far too far, you're way too far away for me to care. Yeah, I need to find friends now. Oh, wait. Yeah, I actually want to... Again, I still want to make it matrilineal. That will do. You. Can you find someone? vassal of someone I'm gonna fight. That's fine, but the best. And one of my own vassals, so... She'll do. Kind of limiting myself by making it only people with genetic traits. But I'm still getting a lot of allies, so... It's not really a bad deal at the end of the day. when I get all the messages, they're like, oh, here you go. 
allies, allies, all of them just showing up. Play with fire. Who is it? Sun and air. Sun and air. Does that mean? That means he's decent. Oh, great. My son's gonna be a decent mage. So many allies. Join me. Still a lot of enemies though, so maybe Yeah, there's still there's still not that many options. Okay. Still wounded. Could you please fix me? Please! I want to be fixed. I also would like to raise blood blood thralls. Oh no! Oh no! No! He's 32 years old! again. Uh, it all. Um, isn't there something? Isn't there something here I can do? No, there's nothing here I can do that'll heal me. Um. Teacher's gift, life wards, cleansing waters. Blood essence of life of all servants. Don't. Magic. Living magic. Healing waters. Healing waters. Cope. Fix it. It can only cast a higher level. No. No. For health. Yay, my kids are still learning magic while I'm killing myself. Please, friends. Friends, friends, wait, wait. Friends, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Join me. Join me, friends. Come here. Come here, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Please fix me. Someone needs to fix me. Why am I dying again? Don't die. No. No. Okay, core physician. Core physician, please, wait. Wait, okay, he's really good, though. Why won't he fix me? He's been serving me for 19 years, and he's still not fixing me. I need it. Someone help. I'm dying! Yes, isn't that wonderful? Oh, they're playing with fire. Yay! Great. 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 I'm so proud. I would... I would my player error. Fickle. Content. Or trusting. He should be fickle. He doesn't even have all of his education traits. He's just a little guy. Who is my best commander? I 
best commander. He's reckless. It's just what we need here. It's just what is needed. A reckless, a reckless leader who can carry the day. This is, this is what it will take. Oh, jeez. It's gonna be bad. But I've got friends. I have friends. And that's all I need. That's all I need. I can beat him. I can beat the white lion. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let him win. He's beating me anyway, though. Because they didn't come and help. No. I've been captured. Or not, I, I haven't been captured. This, this daughter... My eldest has come of age. She's conscientious. And my allies are being absolute dumbs. Massively incompetent dumbs. I've got money still, though. Still have money. I still have money. I, I do. I do have money. I can spend money on people. People that can help. They can help me. Mages. I can hire 400 mages and they'll, they'll just pew, 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 pew. They'll shoot them all. It will be glorious. Just wait. Just wait. They'll all see. I'll pull through. <laughs> no. It's awful. It's all going to hell. No. Ah. They're gonna see it. What's next? What's next? That's a planes. I can't. I don't want to attack them on the planes. Okay. This is. This is it. The mind breakers. They don't have a great thing. The Agumbrians. The Agumbrian band. There's levies and mages. Mages are good, though. They're really good, and they're good in hills. They're even more better in hills. Everyone. Was that seven months? That said seven months. That really did just do say seven months, though. Sure, I don't care. I couldn't care less anymore. I'm dying. I am dying, and I'm losing the war. And it's taking three more months. Those mercenaries are probably real happy with their contract right now. I'm spending a lot of it just standing around. Yeah, you better run. You better. See. They'll all see. Go straight for their capital. Or not, actually. Start from the south. Siege them all. Siege all of them. Spouse. Yes, yeah, spouse is great. Play with fire. Who is it? My son and heir. He's actually nice. Hybrid culture. Who? Oh, well, aren't you special? Thank you for telling me that you decided to form a hybrid culture in the middle of no one asked. I'm losing. Soon, they will be the ones to be losing. Play with fire. Other kid is becoming good. Days. Smash him. Smash him. Blast him. Do the magic thing. Yes. Combatant 
captured. He's a militant Magian. Wow, he's even more useless than the rest of them. Sacrifice plants. We'll do that. Sacrifice plants. And look at all of these prisoners. They're probably worth something. One magic. That's all you're worth. No. We're not going to sacrifice you. You're not even worth that. One of you can be ransomed. And the rest of you... Are just gonna... Just gonna go. Away. Just do the ransom thing. Now... Removed. Removed. Thank you for the piety. I shall declare wars thanks to you. How long does the contract last? 18 months. This is not acceptable. That's too many casualties as well, though. I can, I can, I can do this. I can do this siege. But I'll leave the shitty troops behind. Dying. Dying, but not dead. Dying, but not dead. Yes, all of them, all of them will learn. My sudden heir really wants to become lazy. But he's going to become scared instead. She's an intricate web weaver. Great. I'm so proud of him. Her. Troth can make sure. Where are my friends? Are they all here right now? Friends! Yes, they're all here. Yeah, I know, the broken robes are... Uh, they're a thing. They're... Kind of annoying, yeah, but... Yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm good. Pious liege, theocratic vassals love me. That's great. I, I don't care. Leave. That's bad. I think that the. the the mages are gonna go now. Uh, I spent all that money and they've still won. I could still kill all your people. You're worth some money. I'll take that back though. I notice any bugs yet about to release a patch and you want to see if anything else you should throw in real quick uh, the last time I actually said anything about bugs it was the the cults down here but it looks like they're all um, fixed up based on the fact that I can see them again um, and yeah I, I, so that's good but I haven't um Okay, there was the literally the only thing, but that's not even really a bug. Um, was 
What is this duchy? This guy, because he had the extended life trait, and it didn't, it uh, the extended right, extent, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, extended life trait didn't have um, an icon, but I, I don't know if that's even something you care to hear about. Hey, yeah, yeah, you definitely, um, it's ruined. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have an icon, literally unplayable, oh. I couldn't even look at him. I can't even look. It's just, it's disgusting. Oh. I am dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can still do this. Del deleting the mod. Yeah. <laughs> deleting the mod. Remove your copy. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be completely gone forever. Jeez. Yeah, you're just so angry and he's dead. <laughs> oh no. This is dreadful. It's not even 13. It's not even 1300. And I've lost so much. But also gained stuff. I've just. I've lost three guys. Ransom? Him? No! I don't know who he is! Anyway, someone needs to give me stuff. No! I lost. I had to give up my. Holdings? To my siblings? No. No, Parnas. You don't even know magic. You're just a loser. None of us ever liked you. And now everyone hates me because I'm a literal child. Oh dear. And he's got friends. Does anyone actually like me? You don't despise me. I've got lots of people. I got lots of people in my family that Hood. My half brother. He's a a false. <sighs> I just died because he he was he was on death's door for like four years. He he accidentally tried he like he tried to cast a spell but it, it blew up in his face. Yeah, exactly. He he so yeah he'd been on death's door for a long time and then it, then he he just finally succumbed after he surrendered. Can't execute you for piety. You work for me now. I'm known as the young. Oh. Oh, wonderful. Well, that's fine. I don't care. Just give me your castle. Constant torment. I have a bully. Be virtuous. He's a dead mage. I didn't know there were any dead mages around anymore.
Yeah, there are definitely some some names you really don't want to get saddled with. I'm in a rough state. It, in fact, I know I, I've lost the holy, the one holy site I had. <laughs> to oh jeez she is she's special and she's gonna die hey equal succession oh boy you're gonna be really weak soon who's educating me no one's educating me this is not acceptable Someone teach me. Sure, the peasant leader. He could convert to Yelaj. Excuse me? Red Star Cultist. I've never even heard of such a, a religion. Worship of... Okay. Kind of surprising that that's a thing. What's going on around out here? Is the the West Royal Trading Company hasn't been murdered yet? That's actually kind of surprising. They're not actually. I I find that the West Royal Trading Company, which is such a mouthful to say, but I I don't think they're hard to play. I've played these guys, and it's it's not actually all that difficult. I I think to take over take over this place. Uh, but the AI sucks so at it, so. Manikos is all gone. It's all gone. Blood veneration. There's still a couple Ace Christs and Axiotheists. The Ace Christ guy out here, is he still is he still around? I know there's one Ace Christ guy on the coast. Does not Oh yeah, he's still here. Okay, just barely holding on. The the the, the orgy cults win? What? The autocrata of all the isles and the seas. And the rightful empire is still technically alive? That's kind of funny. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The... <laughs> You're talking about the West Royal Trading Company. Yeah, yeah. They pretty they pretty much win. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you were saying that earlier that you're working on um uh setting up the Oh, they have a new starting position? Or do you mean just mean starting situation? Because you You'd mentioned your the starting situation was different. Yeah, yeah, just just the the situation, I guess.
This is rough. Huh. Playing a mage is it's very rewarding when it works well, but when when it doesn't, you just keep dying young. I need to pause for that. Uh, I can... I can... There, now I can actually download that image. I mean, that's not something I, I really need to put up on the screen. But, but, uh, actually, wait, I'll, I'll take a closer look at it, though. It was... They have... Yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're at war with all of their, uh, lore-accurate breakaway states. And the mercenaries as well. Okay, they're at war with the mercenaries. Darn, I really like, I, I, I really want to play the mercenaries sometime. Okay. Well, it's been nice. It's been nice having you. And uh, his daughter as well. He's at war with his daughter. I do have 2,000 men. Do I still have allies? Not really. Is it even conceivable for him to win that? Okay, well, here's a... Here's a bug, but I think someone else has mentioned this already. of age. Oh, yeah, I'm finally of age, but but, but, um... Bugs. Um... Shavolki... You can see these, uh, Shavolki, um... Shavolki Kingdom titles. Maybe Empires as well? No, it doesn't look like the Empire titles. Or, oh, the Duchy ones, too. So maybe it's a random chance that Duchy and Kingdom titles... Oh, you've, you this is something you've already seen and uh, dealt with, then? That's cool. That's not a big thing. It's not a huge problem, but, yeah. Uh, skill Tactician. Skilled tactician and a living magic expert. Right. Oh, geez, uh, that was that was not the cost, the full cost arm. Um, gonna go into debt. It's gonna go into debt for a, a, a pretty good crown, at least. And start actually learning the magic. But yeah, that, that's that's really cool. You, uh, It really surprises me how, how fast you're able to, to do this stuff.
chips. Yes, the clipping clothes. <laughs> um. The never ever release mod. <laughs> so now it's like literally every time. At least for now, it's like literally every time you get something done, immediately release. Just do. Do, do, do. <laughs> that is. That's understandable. I can understand why you would want to do that. Oh my gosh! Senware, please! Oh my gosh, Senware! My boy! What a beautiful... What a beautiful man you are! You're enjoying the patch and, um... Trying out the Mixed Mage and Demota? Yeah, yeah, um... Oh, I wonder if he's still alive. Of course he's still alive. Or wait, no. That was his father. Jeez, that's a good air. That's a pretty good air, honestly. That's, um... Yeah, yeah. Demoda looks really fun, honestly. Uh, even though they are filthy heathens who uh, want to resurrect the dead god. Uh, they are actually pretty darn cool. I like all the different... They got all the different versions of their faith. And lots of unique buildings. And, uh, you know, when you're actually playing a demote in person, you can use the really good landmark building here, which I was complaining about when I was playing uh, down here as a Wardenite. I was complaining uh, about not being able to get the plus two domain limit because it's incredible. <laughs> uh, the broken trait his father has. It must be extended life. Play Pale Seer. Well, yeah, Pale, Pale Seer, that's the one. You are very welcome. Is blah blah. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. It is. It is blah blah. And the Legion's been taken out to the Pirate Coast. Not surprising. This dude, this Ward Knight dude in the mountains always ends up conquering into here, it seems. <laughs> I really should play them again. I could always, I could always try a second, a second run of my Azdraki. That'd be interesting. If I did another, another uh, Azdraki run, and then I did some sort of, um breakaway culture there but there's so much other stuff to do look at all these little pieces of adversarian culture and as i said before uh oh i think they took it back no no these black fraternal people here they're i i really i really like the the concept uh mostly just because it's funny that they're like the even more edgy ones 
they're they're of, out of all the adversarians they're the even more mostest evilest guys look at them that's funny they're just scattered around the world a little bit Ooh, yeah, you could make, you could make that its own, um, society for them. That sounds really cool. Also, Cirrus is pretty cool. Uh, he was he was the first magic character I ever tried playing, and, and I did pretty darn well, I must say. Customs? No, I don't care. We're not we're not playing tolerant around here. Honestly, I probably want to just go down the magic route. I'm, I'm doing a lot of magic with these guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Starting to get his opinion back. The Agumbrians are still chilling. They spread their culture. No, they're just they're just hanging. I like the uh, I really like the colors. That's par part of the reason I'd like to to do these guys sometime is because I just I just really like their color. I like the symbol. I like the colors on the map, and I like their lore. And that they're they're just showing up. They're still tribal. They're an army without a nation who's just showing up here, and they're gonna uh, try and not get killed. Wandering mercenary culture, as well. This is cool as a concept. I just need to. my money need money back so that I can attack these guys so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be playing as much uh, God Herja starting like Thursday uh, because that's when uh, Total War Warhammer 3 comes out and that's one of the other uh, one of the three games that I plan on playing uh, on stream. So, yeah, I don't. I don't even know if many people from from here are gonna actually be interested in watching that. But yeah, that's the other thing that I'm gonna be doing for a bit. Yes, I am such a filthy traitor. Banned from server. Banned from mod. You're just gonna come over here and rip out my version of the mod. Never, never see this Joffrey guy again. <laughs> me, me specifically. I'm just that bad. Only thing that, that's the only thing that can be done. Just have to cyber cyber attack. I need to take this back. Give me my stuff back, lady.
Okay, whatever. I don't care about that. Oh, now he's got facial hair. Ah, she's too old to have kids, though. Senwar's consolidated it now. That's that's looking real nice. Also, is that the black hand? The black hand's still there? Also this. Excuse me? Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was something else. <laughs> Still an adversary, an islander guy. Okay. Hmm. Sure, the blood. That's a nice shade of purple as well, actually. Hmm. Yeah, they've escaped. The Jack's back snacks. Okay, I've actually got money again, so I could... Could go and get that back be a rough war for not all that much gain. What's your other ally? Yeah, it's them. Uh, those guys and uh, them. And all their allies are right next to each other as well. These guys are strong again. ally is my uh, one of my subjects wonderful dare I flagellate him He can cast any spells right now, so I may as well just leave him. Well, I would like piety. Any theocracies around other than the ones that start over here. I guess there is the one that starts down here, but yeah, in general, there aren't that many. Why did all of your allies go away? Hmm. It's interesting. So the kingdom title's falling apart. Yeah, Vashvili. Vashvili's just cannibalizing itself. Maybe I can take it back now. No need to give up yet. I can still 
do this. Take the loot, maybe. Sure. Sun and air, and he's he's okay. He's he, he's got basic mage. Hopefully, I I live longer than sixteen years. And as a result, he gets to actually become educated. Okay, now he should actually have a... Yeah, he's giving me the max... Too. Oh, for the entire duchy? Well, that's a rather big one. Just fight the other guys, please. by the other guys who are attacking her. Let me leave, and now they're gonna siege it. I was so close to winning. I was so close to winning this war. Give me the... the ritual sacrifices. I'm gonna... Sneak back over there and take it. Nephew. Nephew exists. Sure. That's fine. I don't really care. Take it back. Just sneak in and take it. Oh no. Get to 100%. To 100%. Just take it. Give. Ha ha. You fools. You fools. Oh my gosh, they converted the religion to military cliques already. Those monsters. Yeah, yeah, okay. They're actually not they're not crazy strong. I'll just I'll just let myself uh replenish a little bit and then I'm gonna I'm gonna attack these guys. I'm so close. I'm so close to being able to declare a... I'm so close to being able to declare a war for this duchy against them while they're weakened, too. Just need a bit more piety. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I lasted this long as well. I did not expect this to actually last, like, long enough that I, I could theoretically make a second part. <laughs> I can't afford him getting severe penalty. But now I need to wait. I need to wait, and, and then and then I can pounce. Daughter, I have a daughter. That's fine. That's fine. That's great. No, actually, I don't care. Someone else can handle her. This isn't Adversaria. 
I don't need to worry about her inheriting. Nephew, sure, you you can someone else can take care of you. Pensive. You're pensive? Hey, that's actually good. I want you to become a learned man. Hey, he's gonna die. He did die. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, actually, that's not incredible. It's just a thing. So now that ally can come and join the war. I have a daughter now. Can I can I get an ally now? Yeah, that's fine, but I really like to be matrilineal. Alliance power. Matrilineal. I, I can actually do that. That's I would like that. Where are you, though? Someone over there. Oh, that's... Not quite as appealing. I'll take this for now. Once that alliance pops up, I'm gonna... Jump on this man. Perfect. What was that? What is that? That's my... That's my converting religion thing. Okay, it's, it, it's back. It's not an actual problem. He's not gonna join. Because religious brethren in holy war. That... That makes sense. And I feel the fool now. Why did you move? That's fine. Dead magic. Yo. Teach them dead magic. care anymore. He's, he's flying off. He, flying? He's sailing off. Some oh, wait. No, I do care about that. I care about that a lot. Get, get, get off! They keep running around like chickens with the heads cut off. So annoying. Fine, I'm just gonna go and siege this. You can let me know when you actually want to fight. I think magic burn? Abominable servants. Let's go. Let's do it. Or uh, actually, maybe I don't need that right now. But Marshall. What happened to the Marshall? I don't know what happened to the Marshall, but you're the new one. You're not happy. Because I am overbearing, I guess. You should stop doing that religion. Whoa! Why is that so bad? Why is it so bad? Get me out. Get me out. Get me out right now. I don't like this. Why is it so bad? More, more commander traits, more men at arms, in debt, hills, defensive buildings. That's so bad. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get out. 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 Let me. Let me leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. I'm gonna break my mouse. Let me leave. Leave. Get me out. All right, friends. I'll just have a little nap. Sure, I do have spell. I have a 60% chance of raising 500 men. Hey, and it didn't explode in his face. Incredible. Yeah, they, 
chased me. He chased me far. They are kind of bad. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to convert to the local culture. You're supposed to get rid of it. I don't exactly know how strong Lich's skeletons are yet, but I'm sure they'll be fun. Oh, skeletons can think? Yo, that's actually, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, um... I'm not talking about this right now. I'm talking about your comment. Yeah, they, they move, move like the Warhammer Total War skeletons who just all move in complete sync. Super janky and it's funny. They're, they're just... Yeah, exactly. That, that makes sense. They're directly just puppets. Based on the fact that we keep seeing skeleton image, it, that that one skeleton image floating around, I assume that skeletons are gonna actually be like a thing that you play, as opposed to the just flesh blobs. Oh wait, that was Senware. Senware's dead. So they would need to they would need to have some measure of uh, autonomy to actually function as something that you could play. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That that's that's kind of what I would expect. You got different levels of undead beings. Huh? Why is that fog eater? Why is there suddenly a fog eater? That's not that's not fog. This isn't a fog swept province. So why'd a fog eater just suddenly appear here? Hmm. So it's not like the standard undead could actually be playable. Soul is tra their soul is too strapped down to cast magic or have too much higher thought, but they are normally independent enough to have some level of s smarminess behind their liches. Necromancer's back. Oh, really? An awakened undead just have they, they've, they've got a lot more control over their soul, so they can they can actually use magic and think at a higher level. It, it's a bit of a give and take, eh? You um. When it comes to giving control to those creatures as a spellcaster, is that you have to choose how much you, how much power you give them. Because if you give them too much power, then they might resist you. But you want them to be more autonomous for the sake of being actually more effective than what they do. So, uh, problem being, if the girl. Oh, oh yeah, that that's essentially what I was just saying. Yeah, they, they if they're bond. 
If they're too strong, their bond can loosen. That's an interesting take on that. Or the stranglehold that their master has over them can loosen. Oh, and then they can make their own lich gun. Ah, so that's how that works. I wouldn't have thought. I, I, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed that. But that is a good explanation of how they actually um, make more. I, I always wondered how it is that there's more than one lichdom. It's always described as the lichdoms. So you know, where, where do they all come from and why do they exist? Why is there more than one? But it's, it's just that they keep fighting each other. That is what we want. Oh, that is that is tasty. The Charchak Liberation. come in charge. You need to stop. Okay, um, geez. Lich gameplay will be interesting because you'll need to rely on Awakened Undead to manage your non-direct holdings and other liches if you start getting the big levels. Oh, so you actually need, it's like, um, you would actually need a, a full-on lich to command, say, a kingdom, I assume you're saying. So, because it, the, the, the other ones are simply incapable of controlling that much. Uh, Wicked Undead are betrayal time bombs, and liches are just always have a public assassination plot running against you 24-7 and aren't even hiding it. It's just, so that, that's just a known fact. They always are doing it. And the Wicked Undead are maybe 30 to 50% of liches. Okay. It's a gradual influx of magi trying to be the next god, some of which manage to do it, and others go and become an apprentice to a lich and then become a lich that way, normally after stealing the ritual before their boss murders them for sport. It, it's just it's just all a betrayal fun fest. Everyone's working together, but everyone also knows that only one person's going to win in the end. Uh, since there are rituals that liches struggle to do and need a living participant for, and because the liches have been fighting over the same old books for millennia, while extremely powerful, they're often really behind on the newest magical goings-on because, okay, they're all just fighting endlessly over these same old, like, lich magic book knowledge. All lich invasions have fallen apart because the lich was murdered by a subordinate. They're just... It's not even that they fail. It's just that they... They get stomped on by someone else along the way. That's that's pretty interesting. That's, that, uh, it's also very scary. I could just declare another duchy holy war. To take, um... Zenmo. 200, take three counties. So what what actually makes someone an arch legend? What 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 causes that title to be granted to someone? 
is, is that like just a catch-all term for lich that controls other liches or specifically the the one in charge of an invasion Because I'm assuming it just means someone who, uh, say, united the placeholder kingdom of Royce. More or less united the lichdoms. Okay, so... This kind of area on the geographic map. So they've, they've, they've essentially... It's essentially... If you take in-game terms, what you were saying is it would be someone who had taken a roughly half of this and they were able to wrestle control of this empire title. So they are suddenly someone who controls this title, uh, which is the actual, like, Archlich. All of those empires. You're kidding me. This, it's that big? Damn. Wow, so it's not only... It's it's not only someone. <laughs> wow, that's terrifying. Someone who's more or less united this. So. So it's going to be a lot of wasteland. So so you're saying it's going to be a bunch of wasteland tile still. There's going to be a lot of this that's just empty. Because I mean, they're all dead. And there's just occasionally, like, there's a tile here or um, somewhere. I don't know. You, you've got tiles here and there, like, up on this mountain. You, you've got, like, a lich. And then and they just, I guess, migrate around or conquer new ones and such. Until eventually, maybe one of them gets, like, roughly half of the stuff. And then they're able to become an arch lich and then they have the privilege of being important enough to be stabbed by multiple liches at the same time. Yeah. That sounds really cool. I'm sure that'll steal the show. Once you guys uh, implement that, it's gonna just take over. Always invade the south, but you don't stand much of a chance without being an arch lich, as you simply don't have the manpower. There is a split between the north and south for lich holdings, and the idea is you gradually move north as you get more powerful. Oh, you move north. That's not what I would have expected. The north has more powerful locations, more powerful artifacts, so you'd want to. But a lot more challenges and dangers, and it's where the most of the more established liches are. Naturally, that makes perfect sense. So, yeah, it would be pretty, it's much more dangerous to be down here. Uh, I, I could imagine, though, that if some weaker liches were reckless enough to get close to an established Chevalier player, uh, or AI even, they, if, like, if they dared to get close to Ogier, uh, or Casimir, uh, they they could um, just take a tile, I guess. I assume that's something they could do, unless there'd be a huge penalty for owning that land. Oh, well, uh, oh, if they could raid, then yeah, that would still be very useful, but that'd also be rather dangerous, I assume, because um, excursions, they're actually really common, oh, okay. It's common for people to do that. That's not surprising. Blood thralls again. And it worked. It's always nice when that actually works. Um... Some liches get knocked out by adventurers, though it's rare. The problem is that the land of the lichdoms is, like, useless, because the liches actually sucked all the life out of the land. Yeah, they would do that. That, that makes sense. The 
8th century. 8th century. This has been going on for a long time. Front level is too high. It's going to take a lot longer, I guess. that stuff they're gonna do it for me uh, the, launched a grand expedition to end the liches yes it ended with an entire generation of chevalian fighting men returning south within a year as part of a lich army oh boy led by the high king who was made into an awakened undead the lichdoms were formed in the fourth century there's even one lich character planned who is one of the ogs from back then oh that's cool just, he, he just never died. He's just hanging around. magic. What can I take? Yeah, I just worked on this. I, I just want to work down towards vampiric stuff, because evilness. Evilness is great. starting to go really well it's just being turned on its head because i managed to stabilize my realm and no one else could no one else could stabilize their own all these lazy people i want to make them leaders but they're all not the best Okay, I can see now why these pe why I had the issue of this idol suddenly becoming uh, one of the Eastern people. Because some of these people that I've appointed to be bishops have children that are off somewhere else. Hmm. got kids and one of those kids is in fact a Car Caravesian Conclave of Rakor. You don't have kids. But you're also not going to have any. But I can just leave it this way for now. Bear any person who's on the other side of the map. How did you travel that far? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, the religion does have a bonus to that, right? I, I think it was at the culture, it's like um, theocratic vassal something. No, what was it, Hori Priests? I swear there was something about theocratic vassals. Huh. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just, I've just lost it. I'm insane. Maybe I can take a bishop. No, no, I'd need to be a bishop from here. And I don't want to have some random dude who's not the right religion showing up here. As much as I like having uh, theocratic vassals. Hmm. I wonder how long I should actually stream for. 
don't know how long I should stream for still. I've, I've been going for a fair amount of time. But thank you, uh, uh, thank you, Pink, for explaining more about uh, the lichdoms, because that is interesting stuff. We could take his stuff. I could just show up on this. <laughs> I could just take this stuff. Uh... It doesn't sound like a good idea to me to take a bunch of land that's on the other side of the coast. Uh, but it does sound like a good idea to me to take all of this land and landlock them. Lo landlock the horse boys in here. That's actually good. Um, so this culture, I think it's the culture. No, it's not. It's not because of the religion. Uh, well, for some reason, I inherited it. Is it because his family's just dead? Yeah, his whole family just died. So, well, that's a relief. He was rather annoying. What about you? You don't have any family. Perfect. letting me do that before. It was letting me give the bishop's land before, so why not now? Fine, what about what about you? No, you need to be removed. This county, the city, just for shits and giggles. Nah, I should just make it a charge act. It's a mage. I've got a court, uh, dead mage here. So, that's good. My son. I have many children. Much children's such wow. Time to scare them off again.
this is going to be great. Is that a valuable? That's the air. Well, that's, that's good. My prisoner and half-sister. Well... No, I don't need you, but... Pronounce the claims, and, and then we'll be fine. She can go wherever she wants. Call my dynasty. Niece, that's fine. She's a thing. Actually, I want those siege engines over here. Living mage perk. Getting closer. Generate magic. Prisoners. Fine, fine. I, I won't won't kill the air. And he can give me his ten gold or three gold worth rather. Oh, we've discovered the arched saddle because I didn't even pay attention to what was being researched. I really want bailiffs because who doesn't want to be able to hold more land? Am I right? Play with fire. My son, heir, and ward is now a dead magic novice. Hype! Grant some of this dude. Give me that stuff. Give me it all. Oh my god. It's hot. That's hot. My sister. She can be the court physician. Oh, look at this. The river of revelations. It's mine. All for me. I could just make this my capital and say goodbye to all those locals. Of course, that metropolis on the other side of the river is rather tempting. It's built in wetlands. What is this nonsense? You got all this floodplains around here and you choose to build in the wetlands? You fools. Little regimental camps here. That's good. That's good. What about? Yeah, there's no, no farmland. It's none of the manors. It's a, it's a four, four city. Um, it's a four barony uh, metropolis. That's really nice. Though the question is, can you cross this river without? buying boats because I don't I don't think you could you probably can't now this is why all the way back at the beginning I made the decision to not um, invest too much in this because I don't need that now I, I don't need that land now uh, this stuff is most most of it's act okay actually a bunch of that's really good I, I shouldn't be so hasty to say that I'm abandoning. What I will be hasty to do is give up a couple of these less good ones. Or 
maybe I should just move all all of my stuff over here. This one's a level two castle. I'll be able to go after that. Okay, how long until that the truce is over? Five years. You know what? I can get rid of this land. Most of it. next month to actually get those effects. I want to get the effects of the building so I can actually see. Three. This is just a one, but it should be four. It's actually a five defense. County Capital, Mo, Mud Brick Towers. Um, now I can give that to someone else. My campaign is going very well. It was going dreadfully at the beginning, but now it's actually it's actually stepping up. I am I'm very pleased. I I lost uh, my first two characters rather quickly. Uh, they died of not heart failure wounds. They both died of wounds because they kept on failing in their magic attempts and such. But, uh, you know, they're trying to cast spells and uh, they'd backfire and blow up in their face. But now things are going very well. And I have carved out a little. No, I, I've expanded to a significant degree my people's land. I can actually start to convert to culture more. Ten years, though. May as well just get rid of the, uh... Er... Yeah, that's where I'll start. What's the Civil War? Liberty War against someone else. Someone outside of my realm was called one of my subjects as an ally. What happened here? People just split up. No, who are you? You just came out of nowhere. Hmm. Well. That's their mistake, I guess. How long until I could go on a pilgrimage? That's a long time. I want to save my... I want to save my piety to go on another holy war against the horse lords of the east. So... This is a very tempting target, though. Wait a second. I can just wait until the summer. Just wait a couple months, and then I can do a feast. Oh, wait, this is considered the summer now, actually. Never mind. I'm sorry, not so sorry, guys. I get piety from my feasts when they happen in the summer, because we like the sun so much. Which, unfortunately for you, means that we're going to retake our people's lands. The Charchak people will finally be united. And we'll get rid of these foolish militant cliques that have been stubbornly sticking around. I don't want to be rivals. I want to be... I want to be friends. They're not close enough friends that I can't use a hook on you. Gets to depart. Risk 
prestige as well. How glorious is this? So wonderful. Son, compassion? Compassion is a sin, you fool! Callousness, now that's the way to be. You have to... No compassion. You gotta be diligent, angry, and grumpy. Diligent, angry, and grumpy all the time. You just, just, just callous. Cold, cold hearted, angry, and just get to work. That's the way you be. That's, the, that's how you become a good person in life. Age faster. Don't make me buy more mangonels. I don't wanna. Prisoner's taken. Do I need to? You can't pay for him? Oh no. Does that mean that he's gonna get executed? No, he's not worth any magic. What about you? Anyone worth magic? None of these people are worth magic. What about you? Always checking. You're worth some magic. Do you have skill? She's actually a latent magi. Well, that's a shame for her. Because when you stand out in a context like this, you know, it's not always a good thing. It's a tough world. I'm hungry for more magic. How else can I raise my mindless hordes? Oh, the name of God, of course. And the, the fire gate, yes. I wouldn't drain my people uh, of life for any other purpose. Let's have another Charchak Republic, but the, the new Charchak Republic will be under my control. Follow the militant cleats. What nonsense. Nor birds. Who worships birds? The militant clique isn't even a religion. Oh, they, they took out the Theogumbrians. And now they're taking out each other. You know, wonderful. It's typical of the Magians. What happened with Senwer's people now that they've taken over everything and they've split up? The Ationix are actually not dying instantly. It's kind of a surprise. What is this? It's just got the life path faith. Okay, image that. The, okay, I was really confused. I I think. Okay, it's not Marcher. Just, just had to make sure. Really? The majocracy is still around? I was sure the practitioners would be gone by now. What about the Maikpoalan? They're still around too? I'll just ignore that though. And uh, the Adabizians have not invaded yet. Oh, did Hartha just die? He, he failed. Hartha didn't do much of anything. Kind of. Yeah, he, he didn't get really, really get rid of the uh, holy orders at all. Anyway, who's next on the block? You're a independent little thing. Oh no, you're you're what's left. Yeah, you're part of what's left. Uh, what about you? The Magians. I do need to be careful though. I want to save. I want to save a couple hundred. 
<laughs> unusual. Uh, I assume you're refer when you say unusual. I assume you're referring to the fact that uh, the forgotten saint is still alive. <laughs> These people always get wiped off. Yeah, they always get wiped out real quick. So like in Kenemont, yeah, it's still brash. The foolish. Oh. I don't mind that. I think the Forgotten Saint is pretty cool. So I don't mind them sticking around at all. Right before my eyes. My vassal was snatched away from me. A touch of romance. Is she trying to seduce? Nonsense. I'll take the prestige, though. No, you can't... Wipe them out until Callistos' key has been eliminated, but since they have naval superiority. Ah, yes. Boats. Almost forget those are a thing when you play Crusader Kings. What is boat? What truly is? What does it mean to boat? Three more years and I can... Crush these guys again. Um... I might take the good stuff over here. Because if I could get my hands on this, that would be really nice. How many holy sites do I have? I've got, like, I've got most of them, don't I? Oh, only half. I'm close, though. I'm close to the fire gate. Parnas. Yes. For, um, it's a form of tree that grows in... I'm not sure what the, I feel dumb for not knowing what you're talking about. Oh, excellent. Ever closer. What is tree? What is boat? Oh. Oh, it's a joke. It's the joke. Yeah, the jo A boat. A boat is... It's a, it's a rare form of tree. That's what my... Yeah. You should not be increasing control over there. That doesn't mean anything to me. His final, his final trait. He's not getting much, he's not getting much learning. That's annoying.
my brother. Sure, yeah, my brother can. Yeah. He likes me, right? There shouldn't be any issues with that. in one, right? Two. Hey. Okay. Can afford to declare another war because I'll get I'll get another feast before that truce is up anyway. Chancellor? No, I'm not making you my tri my chancellor. You on the other hand, kid. Oh, wait, no, you're 43. Why did you look like a child? What the? Get me prestige, I guess. Militant. want to revolt because they're they haven't been reconverted well, that's fine there will be some growing pains A bit of a squabble. Yeah, they are. Allied to someone on the other side of the the the, the Isles. Perfect. Okay, the patch is out now. You, now you're uh, going to allow yourself to sleep. <laughs> that's uh, that's great. Uh, I'm I'm glad that you you had fun hanging out. Um, did you you go you go have yourself a, a sleep? Cynical increases learning, but it'll decrease his piety. I really want him to have a lot of piety, though. Just is really nice, but he's gonna... Uh...
You can afford to be temperate. Uh, how am I enjoying playing the Charchax? Uh, or however you pronounce their name. I am really enjoying it. It was a very rough start. I lost... Um, Converso? Converso. I lost Converso really early because uh, he... He failed two spells in a row. Uh, yeah, and then his... His heir... Also... Messed up spells. And though he managed to hold on for a while before he died. He still, he still perished. But now I'm playing as the third guy, and he's a living magic expert. So uh, I am able to gather some mindless drones. Got some arrays an army. Uh, I'm gonna need my blood thralls for this, it looks like, so I'll, I'll call them in. So I should probably take myself off the army. Eh, no, I don't see. I can just enter this and do that. So yeah, it's, it's been a really good time. Uh, lots of ups and downs. Oh, there's actually a couple mages here. I, I can sacrifice some people. No, oh, uh, generate power. Um, who is it? We've got... M... Kind of, uh, oh, no. There. Actual sacrifice. 61. Who else is you? Georgie. Goodbye, Georgie. No one else? That's fine. That's fine. That just means. I'm getting free piety, and hey, I needed more piety to declare some more wars against some very weak targets, because there's some rather weak targets around right now. Uh, the, everything's just going so well compared to what it was before. I'm almost afraid that something terrible is about to happen. Some more theocratic rulers. I don't think... No, my truce ends next year with these guys. A Western religion and Western magia? The, the, this one, the one... <laughs> a shaitan that's kind of... It's kind of just Satan. It's, it's pretty much just Satan. Though this doesn't sound much like Satan worshipping at the same time, so it's kind of weird. And, and this religion does sound kind of cool. Because it's a bunch of priests. Uh, priests who I think are magic? I think they're magic priests and they dominate the weaker people and convince them that they're all powerful and that they, they live in that, that they uh, are reincarnations of each other. I think it's something like that. Oh no. As ends. You peasants have no idea how long it takes for me to uh, increase control around here. You're causing such a pain. Someone needs to rip your face in half. I would assume it's just a coincidence, yes. Yo, you can be sadistic. Oh, wait, what? A 
That's not all. Oh no. Three months. Fine. Poisoning. I can poison their blood. Yeah, now I need to regain control of everything. Such a pain. Up to sale. Steal their stuff. Fire because that is how this works. Playing with fire. Who is it? Uh, well, that's fine. So yeah, yeah. Interestingly enough, uh, my heir is going to be a dead magic user because I happen to find uh, someone in my court just happened to be a dead magic user. So I decided, why not? I haven't played with dead magic in a while, and stuff has been changed around. So. That's how we'll play. So I could actually just go and take, uh, I could take this duchy, including the metropolis that it has. It's very tempting. So I, I essentially have the choice of either going across the river and taking this, this and making it into a colony of mine, or I can just tighten the noose in here. should probably make a kingdom title. I need to save money for that. Because if I die again, it's probably going to be very bad. Oh, no, that's right. It's partition. So no, no new titles get made. It's been so long. <laughs> so used to playing with confederate partition. I think it's just I think it's just way too tempting for me not to take a metropolis. I could make that into my capital. Can I I can make the Charchak people master of the bay. Uh the brass sea. That's a rather fitting. I can make the brass empire of the Charchak. That sounds like something they would do. Or maybe I'm just coming up with excuses why I should conquer a really nice piece of land. Who knows? But regardless of why, I think my purpose is going to stay the same. Regardless of what the excuse is, it's still going to happen.
Yeah, they have to they have to take boats. Oof. Honestly though, the fact that I need to take boats to the, the fact that I need to take boats to do this is even more of a reason that I want to take it. Because if I take this metropolis now, that'll mean that it's easier for me to cross this river. little guy just got killed. What is my spouse doing? A sister ruler right now? Can she get me anything better from doing something else? One. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is great. Let's play with fire. Daughter. Yes. Looks like my heir isn't going to become a master. He's not going to become an incredible dead mage. What is this? We have a full moon. What does charm? What does charm even actually do? Yeah. Charm. Hostile character affecting spell which greatly increases the target's opinion of you for five years. Okay. Dominate. Okay, what is can I see what dominate does just from here? Random guy, 95% chance, a weak hook. Ah, okay. I kinda just want more blood thralls though. Kinda, kinda just want more of them. Maybe I'm not good enough mage. To do, to do more than the plus one version, though. Did it did it work? where if he dies now just because he failed to do that he is to at least live until, okay well he lived until my heir became 16 which is kind of scary now now that he's 16 it means that he's li i'm legally allowed to die which is not something i want of asshole. But yeah, yeah, my, my heir is unmarried. Um, actually, that doesn't matter. It can be relevance. Robust? No, it needs to be intelligence traits. Yeah, it is the family curse. They all just die as soon as their heir becomes just about of age.
is my... There it is. Sacrifice has been unlocked. <laughs> To be sacrificed. Da, 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 da. Chancellor. Grant. Um, oh, he's a theocracy. I don't need to change his stuff. Yeah, th well, thank you for stopping by. You, you have a good night as well. just wounded. I'm no longer wounded, he's scarred just like his old man. I have literally never gotten an artifact or used one. I have no idea how they work. <laughs> um, oh, here, inventory. Um, court artifact. It's a court artifact, so it's something you'd hang in the court. It's not something I can equip. Okay. Oh, my K 
kids are learning the way. Well, you, my friend, are most definitely not being ransomed, no matter how much they're willing to pay for you. Cannot be found in qua uh, quality. What cannot be found in quality can be found in quantity, as they say. And so, when one of one of Mystic Blood requires suitable energy with which to perform their feasts, feats, a great mass of lesser beings may sacrifice themselves for the greatness of Magi. And so, my men and I stand in the village, prepared to exact the toll that so many other great Magi have been forced to ask in order to perform their miracles. Got scared and pathetic forms huddle against one another, crying and begging for mercy, asking where their parents or children are, and, and packing ever tighter as my soldiers prod them forth with their spears. Only the volunteers and the old? Okay. One in every ten may decide. Take all of Able Body. Wow. Whew. Take leave the children and the elderly. The take the adults for our needs are great. Wow. <laughs> Snatch. Well. Now it's time to defend my new lands. And get rid of this one, because I don't need it anymore. I'm above my vassal limit, huh? Hmm. Well... I'm about to increase it. of age, yes.
we have someone else here. I guess this is my brother. I'll let my brother do that. How do you usurp this? I don't think I can because of their religion. Well, I could make my own. Not prestigious enough, though. Hmm. some more feasts in. My heir is still unmarried. That is a problem. Genius. Or even quick. No. Okay. should I give you a seat on the council? Because you have not many skills, but he is my brother-in-law, I guess. Still don't care about him. Not really. I suppose I can attack you folks now. I doubt there's many Ar Aronian Agiocratan people that would care to defend you. Though I will wait until the summer. Because in the summer there shall be a great feast. Ooh. Okay. This is my vassal. Husband of my vassal. of having an affair. Um, sure. That's that's so sad. It's tragic. Excellent. Feasting time. Reveler? Yeah, sure. Am 
I losing prestige or piety from not having enough wives or something? No. Fine. There we go. Mouse was acting all weird for some reason. I just take the opportunity to attack some weak cling and unite this duchy. Sure, whatever. Leader Mehreb's host. What? Hasn't revolt against them. Well, are they gonna make an independent realm if I don't defeat them? Like, what's going on here? Why do, why do, should I care? I should care, then I, I want to go over there. But I'm not convinced that there is a reason for me to. Truces, got a truce with them. What are the borders looking like over here? I own any of. I own all of the duchies over here. So, what I really want right now is just to become super prestigious. get as much prestige as I can right now. Declare war on them for the single county to take complete control over this one. Hmm. What would it take to declare a kingdom level holy war? Yeah, you need to be a paragon of virtue, it's a big deal. Good, by 
any means, but I just need the free. So, may as well save them, you know. Guy, please shit. He's, he's pretty shit. I definitely didn't want to make her out being killed, so it was a mistake on my part to allow him on the field of battle. Lehran, on the other hand, I would like to die, so... He is going to always be on the field. Grandson, you mean to say that Mehrab had a child before he died? Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to educate you. He could be burned. Her though. Don't have any money? Fifty gold. I'll take that. Need all the gold I can get. Maybe making some titles soon, so. really like having this because it's got mansions and regimental clearings. It's actually a very good region. I can 
finally give up this place now. Is it? Uh, just nobody's here. In one year, I'll be able to attack them again, which is excellent. from that, that would be nice. Actually, this is the first time I've ever actually successfully hunted something. <laughs> like easy pickings to me. to demand artifacts from me. Such insolence. Okay. It's fine, I suppose. Just make that my capital. Problem solved. But what? Okay. We can do that. 
speed bike. A new bishop. And they are albino. Yes, I can. And I will. Perfect. Now, give me this title. Make this my capital. Now, you're going to let me promote my culture there. The char check people will have a new home. Too many counties. A realm size is too large. Oh no. Well. I take I can take I can declare a kingdom title war. Too much piety cost though. Paragon of Virtue. able to have a long pilgrimage. have gained trait. Genius son. What are the degenerates of my teaching? You? You don't matter anymore. It's not going to work out for you, bud.
eyes begin as vague shapes only seen in the dark corners of my vision but now these apparitions phantasms of the mind they have grown bold with each magical ritual i perform they grow harder to distinguish from reality most are merely peculiar or so mundane as to escape notice but others are rather disturbing and i become especially troubled during night they seem to be most active as set by visions
Yeah, hello. I'm, I'm quite, uh, annoyed about one thing, and that's that I lost my prestige level from Illustrious, and I was gonna, I was gonna found a kingdom, but now he's dying, <laughs> and I don't have enough prestige to make a kingdom title. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. No, <laughs> you came here just to just to tell me uh, that I should have lost already. Uh. Yeah, it's not not the best, not the best situation. But for you, well, actually, it's been going well overall. I don't think I'm going to lose. But it's it's on a knife's edge at this moment. And you know what? I... I very much enjoy playing the Amagians. I enjoy playing everyone in this region, so I'm I'm also very much on your side. Don't worry about that. Declare, declare wars for prestige. I mean, faith. Um, I, I did, but it's, but um, that was one of the first things I did when he was added. So, unfortunately, I don't remember what it actually says. I know he's a funny guy, so I, I I know he's he's somewhere over here. He's he's the um he's the guy who claims that he's the son of uh Axiotea and Ace Grace, I think. And he's like obviously lying. He's I think he's a gray eminence. I don't remember with absolute certainty, but I think he was. Yeah. <laughs> Die on me, Mars of the Young. Ah, he's deceitful and greedy.
Oh, the ritualists are still here. Yeah, essentially, at this time, I'm desperately trying to get enough fame to nah, If I go on a hunt, he's just gonna die. Oh, he's fine again. The, the, the disease thing is done. one. Excellent. But yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, he immediately gained a living magic novice as well. He's gonna be fun. Oh, it's not like it, it's not that I I pick these guys over the Amagians. I like them all. If if anything, I I would almost say that my favorite here would be the sheep guys because they're really, really dumb, and it's hilarious. The, uh, Jax, Bax, y Yalax, or whatever. <laughs> Take this. I'm so sad as well because I I made this my capital. I waited all the way until I conquered this place to switch it to my capital, but then I got in like five wars at once and rebels took it. So now I can't make this place my capital in this character's lifetime. So even if I do make the kingdom, the de jure capital is going to be this place. Which is sad. Are oh, you guys removing the sheep people? Oh, that's that's sad. Sad noises. Sheep people going away. Oh, you're joking? Okay. I actually believed you. You got me good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of... I'm getting tired at this point. I'm just... Not that I'm, I'm not sleepy tired. I'm, just my shoulders are heavy from weighing the burden of the Charchak people for several hours now. <laughs> uh... I almost lost so many times.
There are study the arcade. Okay, I need to. I need to keep killing people. Sacrifice the wall. It's been piety to do that, huh? Oh, one of them's my family. But which one is my family? You. Get the fuck out. Almost murdered you, lady. And and you take this. Wait, no. A theocrat can have this. Is my sister gone yet? No, get the fuck out! I told you to leave! Good, she's gone. Now I can... Uh, ...remove these people. So much dread. Concentration of just lots of small vassals. Okay, out here. I'll make this title. Congratulations. Which one of you is a theocracy? You're a theocracy. You get that title. Oh, fuck. I can't hand it out to people. Because I'm a duke. I almost just let them get away. Don't want to do that. Everyone hates me so much. Jeez, your only allies are your This is this is what the Amagians have. Their allies are their, just their own subjects. Well, I guess I have to put down the fifth iteration of this revolt first, so. Alright, friends. you down. Again, with the entire force. My dynasty is famous, yay! They absolutely murder her. Extension really do be like that sometimes. Jeez. Another one. Wait, we're doing this again? Really? Didn't we just do this? For flesh. Oh, he's he's a thick boy. Secret ex 
exposed. People that I don't care about. Yeah, I, I've, I've been able to imprison my wife this whole time. What of it? They just keep coming. No! You don't get to make me infirm. You don't get to make me infirm. No! how this works game. I am at death's doorstep. Now. I need 300 prestige. 300 like, fame. I don't want to do that though. I want to get. I, I want to make a, uh, my own kingdom so that I can get all the du jour. And it's cool. But if I don't. Oh no, I don't have the gold! Fuck. Oh, I lost exposure sickness?
it would be pretty neat if I was playing a guy that had both. <laughs> maybe I maybe I will. Maybe I will adhere to the medicine focus now. Yeah, yeah, fire. Fire is kind of their thing. Augers. Sob, you absolute lad. Okay, how the hell does this work? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but I, I think I'm. Maybe I should. It, it is. It is very much bland. Um, I am eternally grateful that that's now a thing you can do. It's so good. Uh. 
<sighs> but yeah, you know, blue, blue and this yellow. That just that just doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah. My my goal, I wanted to make uh, my own. Oh, there's the actual Amagia Empire title. That's cool. But I'm gonna make. I wanted to um, see. I'll make the kingdom. The kingdom's gonna be something about fire. But uh, I want to make the because this is called the Brass Sea. I want to make the Brass Empire. Numidium is an empire confirmed. The only thing I rec the only thing I recognize that name from is the Elder Scrolls. That, that that makes sense. Yeah, that could be a good sun thing. Want you to make one? I mean, do, do you mean, like, send me one that you just think is cool, or do you mean one for me to use? Not that it really matters either way, I suppose. Sure. certainly is nice you really can uh, it, it, it definitely is possible to spend a lot of time making some really good looking ones I spent some time doing that once but it certainly was not as good as that
Hmm. I don't know. I might. This might just be a good place for me to stomp for the day. Making the kingdom title and all. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll come back. Come back next time and actually make the coat of arms. I'm also planning on uh, doing, starting to do more. Um, I'm, I'm planning on trying to stream Warhammer uh, as well in the lead up to Total War Warhammer 3 being released, so. You, you really want me to read that? All right, all right. I'll read Esther X. It's well, yeah. It's something. I, it's it's something I'm interested in, and it's not like it's a chore. <laughs> I'm curious what it, what he has to say about himself as well. And, and it's it's definitely not like I'm gonna fall asleep here either. I'm. I'm considering just starting up another stream of Warhammer in like half an hour or something, so I just. Yeah, anyway. What does Estorax have to say? Uh, yeah. Fame, glory, power, I have it all, and my beloved subjects know of my devotion to them. So, O oh onlookers, thou who art much blessed in wisdom, Give thy allegiance to the truest autocratier, and rise not, raise not thy arms to uphold pretenders and deceivers. Listen not to their lies, these fools who would tell thee that I am not born of two gods. For I am the lost child of my late parents, Autocratia Axiotea and Autocratia Aeskreis. Indeed, the purest themselves took part in the ritual of compassion to bring me into the world, for I was the only remaining hope for Aversaria. Now you may rightfully ask what proof I have of my virgin birth, and my proof is a letter penned by the deific hands of my father and mother, given to my caretaker as proof of my divine birth. All of you are free to read this sacred document, though I fear that you will have little time to do so. Now shall you pledge your loyalty to me, or to some sniveling liar claiming to be reincarnation of the purest? You know that I speak nothing but the truth, after all. But who but a god could have achieved such divine accomplishments, and you all flourish as a result of my rule? Being kept safe by my legions, that coin you possess was given to you by my divine grace. So I shall, in the spirit of maintaining your protection, take that which I am owed. After all, I am born of the purest to become the purest. Who among the pure would not give a gesture of goodwill to their god? <laughs> this face here. <laughs> Look at this man! Oh, wow. Wow, disputed heritage, ah yes. Family is not listed. Oh, well, well done, I must say. I mean, if Pink was here, he'd, he'd uh, tell me to not praise you, but it's, it is very entertaining, so. Well done. Well done. <laughs> this absolute mad lad. Gray evidence, ambitious, greedy, deceitful. <laughs> and he doesn't even. He, he doesn't follow either Ace Crazem or Axiotheism.
Also, I thought it was really cool when I eventually noticed... Uh, when I eventually noticed in this update that there's this dude who is an ace crazed. I just, I thought that was really funny because there was no one. This guy does? Oh yeah, that's right. I think I started the game up as him. And and he he was talking about, oh, 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 you mean Esterax. Esterax thinks, yeah, yeah, he says his late parents, yeah. I mean, out here. Uh, the glorious. What a glorious man. What is his skills? What are his skills? Okay, okay. Uh, what, up, what does he have? Um, oh, yes, yes, of course, Graham. So does that mean he's got a lot of... Nah, I just don't know that. But he's not old either, so... Yeah. And he's actually in an interesting position, I must say. I did see Garassos. He's got, he's got the big old skull, right? Yeah. That's pretty darn cool. I mean, you don't get to see his face, but it doesn't. Yeah, that's that's where it's at. This guy is so cool. I love this religion. I, I just... It, it's so good. Playing a Garassan playthrough is, is a... That's a swell time, honestly. I mean... There's also egg, so. There's ghosts of egg. Brilliant. <sighs> he really is. It's a shame he always gets killed. Jeez. Oh yeah, he's got his own bloodline. What an absolute lad. That's... That's very special, honestly. It's funny, everyone out here... Everyone, everyone past this point follows the... Uh, uh, Arionian uh, faith, but but Krigos is uh, just the standard one. Belisarius. Belisarius. Uh... Who's, who's Belisarius? Is that... Uh, the Frostblood... Oh, that's the guy that everyone talks about. Uh, he's down here, I think. There he is. People really like him because he's str a strong... He's a, he's a really... Um, he's a really powerful mage. I certainly haven't played him yet, but he looks like he would be really fun to play because he's a very strong mage. You could you could totally just make him a vampire that lives for a stupid amount of time and just conquer so much stuff. But uh, something else I'm really uh, looking forward to playing at some point is uh, I want to play the Cult of the Fallen Star, kind of. Or uh, maybe not them specifically, but they are really... See, I like the concept of their religion, but they actually don't... They don't actually do what their religion says they do. It's really weird because they talk like... It's supposed to be some sort of Cthulian religion where they go on and conquer everyone. They just, they just go and kill everyone who doesn't follow their religion. But 
instead their stuff is like ritual suicide, esoteric, and literalism. They are fundamental. They're all fundamentalists, but they actually don't get to do holy wars on people around them. You actually can't declare holy wars on them because you because you only consider them astray, but they consider you evil. And I have no idea why you don't consider them evil. But... Um... The, the close the close second that I'll take is the cult of the great unknown one that's that's close enough that's, uh, that's close enough I mean almost all of these are just Cthulhu cults which is funny but one of them is literally fallen star They kind of just sit in the Redlands and let the Adversarians do what they like, I guess. Hmm. Also, sometime I might want to uh, reattempt my uh, game in Demot, Dem Demota. Uh, now that culture the culture stuff is a thing, because I could make a hybrid culture. So that I could actually make use of the lodges instead of them being an issue. Or maybe actually play as the Demotan people and resist all the invaders. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff for me to do in this mod. And at the same time, even though there's so much stuff for me to do, I also have two other games that are going to be coming out soon that I really want to cover. Because <laughs> uh, on, on Thursday, that's when Warhammer 3 releases, and I'm going to be playing that game like crazy once it's out. Uh, I'm going to be playing it so much that I'm pretty much not even going to have time to play games on my own. I'm just going to have to, every time I play a game, it's going to have to be on stream because I want to stream stuff. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I would love that. I would love Dervindion to get all sorted out. Uh, Pink, Pink was in here earlier, uh, talking about uh, we, we had we talked for a long time about the um the liches as well, so I'm I'm pretty excited for when they are eventually a thing, but uh, Dervindion is uh, one of the first things I ever played. It, it was one of the first few things I ever played in this mod, so um, I'm really looking forward to their holy sites getting fixed up. up. Or It's not going to show me here, but um, their, their holy sites are, are just being every single tower is really cool to me, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, another thing I want to play at some point is the I want to play the Gestenwoder religion because it's just it's just swamp monster worshiping people, which is really funny. Bigger bigger fish than the liches up here, just in the north. Because because I I certainly believe that. I happen to be someone who is very interested in the Theogumbrians. So, I'm I'm rather curious about the stuff that's from up here. Uh, these people, honestly, the Theogumbrians, are one of the most curious things to me. Because they feel... Their religion? It, 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 they seem to know stuff that they that's really strange for them to know. Yeah, I get that impression. There's not many of them, though. Uh, not that not that we actually see. We just see um, the Theogumbrians and the, I guess, the Barki, but I think the Barki are up here, too. Yeah, yeah, so it's really just the Theogumbrians. 
I haven't seen any other yellow ones. But they're so... It's so interesting. They have this... They have this whole thing where they're like... They're, they have reincarnations of... Of their god who is like the... And the world... They, they talk about the world being in cycles. They, they talk about the world having been like... Going through multiple cycles of everything being destroyed. And that's their god. It was like made from the last stone of the last house to be destroyed in the old world and then that person made everyone else in this new cycle of the world which is so interesting also their their color schemes are good <laughs> they've got the, they, i just like i like the purple of their religion and the gold of their culture and uh satanist eskimos I have heard that there are weird Eskimo samurai people um, who wander the lands. So that's that's something I'm very curious about. Um, I, that is pretty weird. Um, <laughs> not much else to say about it. <laughs> uh, other than it's a thing that exists canonically. That is weird. Uh, I'm so... It's going to be so much fun once more of this stuff gets actually filled in. Uh, in the um, the older start dates. I am so excited to play Tree People. Playing the Pardix up here is going to be so much fun. I'm so hyped for that. And there's going to be the liches here, who have been around since, like, the 4th, the 5th century, I think? Which is absurd. They've been here forever. Yeah, I thought, so I thought that the old, also, I thought that the, um, the lichdoms were only this empire. I thought it was just this. I didn't know it was all of this. It's so huge. It's crazy big. It's all of this blasted wasteland. I had no idea it was so big. Oh, playing a skeleton man, yeah. A lich a, a lichdom Mike Prolalan game what game? What? What, so you 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 like play a lich, and then you come down here and take over the Maik Prolalan. <laughs> uh, something tells me there would be a few people that have a problem with that, depending on the start date. What? This is a thing you can do? No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, as, uh, from what I understand, that dead magic is like a... It's like a little taste of what the necromancy is going to be like. Or, I don't even know if necromancy would be the term. Uh, you guys come up with your own terms all the time. But, but, but I know that dead magic is just a little taste. It's not the full-on treatment. Oh, it's like a lich is a trait that you can have, but but it's just incomplete and sounds kind of pointless then. Unless someone really wants to just play the game as an immortal lich for some reason. I, I've played these guys. I played um, at the West Trading Company before the patch um there's someone i'd like to play uh because they're actually surprisingly easy um and it would definitely be interesting to make a hybrid culture here or a divergence oh you actually get this what i thought that wasn't implemented yet Interesting. I certainly did not expect that to be the case. Uh, 
Uh, sure. Well, I don't, um, race thingy. Like culture? Well, maybe, maybe it's the nudity settings. It might be because of my nudity settings. Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> Grand Syrat Resort and Spa. What a lad. Oh my. Oh my, that is something. <laughs> you know, you know, Syrat? Syrat's a special place, I must say. That's a that's a very interesting place. Somewhere around here, I know. There, there. I think there's lots of these ruined stuff around here, and I know I know somewhere down south here is a ruined battlefield. There's like the stone battlefield monument. Um, I think it's in this mountain pass here. Maybe up here. I don't remember where, but the stone the stone battlefield is a thing around here. That's really cool. I talked about that at some point. But so yeah, Syrat's hell on earth, and then there's these uh, the matriarchal people, matriarchal pirates who are invading it. So these poor folks who live here <laughs> just can't catch a break. Uh, I mean, the um, I know I also looked at the fact that the other version of this religion. Um, this the, the other version of this religion has a tenet that's literally called the quest for death which gives them minus health and, and you know what when you live in a place like this I don't blame them but the Pardics the Pardics get a, might get a quest to cleanse it that would be interesting though I can hardly imagine the circumstances that would cause a person of any of those cultures to make their way down there. So, yeah, things happen. Especially when there's fog as a motivator. I play with the fog turned off right now, actually, because I, um, or maybe, maybe that's been changed in the, in that patch, because, um, 
this thing, uh, this thing was updated, uh, so that it's no longer, uh, in the wrong, uh, du jour. Because this used to be a fog swept province by accident. Um... Uh, so, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, uh, I th in the previous patch, there was a big issue with the, the fog. It kept on coming into... The fog would actually take over um, Sardon for me before it would take over uh, Avisaria, which is very weird, <laughs> because it would come from behind. <laughs> but, but anyway, yes, that is very true. Uh, they, um, they have found their way to chevalier and yet they came from this place the north grove which is a pretty cool name also i like this this place looks pretty cool and it's got a wyvern i know you guys you guys say it's a dragon you 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 guys are saying that this is a dragon but that's not a dragon it doesn't have hands the difference between a wyvern and a dragon is that dragons have wings and hands. This this is a wyvern because it because it only has wings and feet. So there. Failed. Well, this is supposed to be a wyvern, but I don't think it is. The 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 quote unquote not finish people. And yet the landmass goes so much farther up north, based on the map I saw. You probably can't play Peasant Republics. I, I, I assume you can't, because you you need to have a family name, so. Yeah, I, uh, one of the first times I was streaming and you guys were watching, uh, at, one of you guys had me looking up here, clicking to try and find one of their special buildings, but you know what? You can't find it, and you, you know why you can't find it? Because none of these places are occupied, and because they're all empty territories, you can't actually look at the potential special buildings. Yes, that is a shame. But you know what isn't a shame? What is definitely not a shame? is Apfeldorf. Apfeldorf is the best thing ever. Apfeldorf is eternal. And if you guys ever remove Apfeldorf, it would be the worst thing ever. Appletown is, is, is the most incredible thing. And w when, when this place is connected to the outside world, I'm gonna make the Apple Town Empire from here. You you better believe it. Just you wait. <laughs> and if you do remove it, then I'm gonna name it again. Then I'm gonna play here and I'm gonna name it Appledorf and do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Dolfer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my. The, if you're talking about the Eternal Grove, 
Uh, I got I got that from from Pink um, a while ago. But if you're talking about the uh, the one in Finnish land, then I haven't seen that. Frozen Village. Ah. Despite being located in a land of constant winter, on the coast of an icy lake is a village frozen in time. Only a handful of adventurers have caught a glimpse. Its sightings have only occurred during massive blizzards that force even the bravest to turn back. The fog has made further attempts even harder, but famed traveler uh, Trakale Den Va Circlay has claimed that the fog stops just at the village's edge. The homes come from a time long past. Snow-covered thatch huts surround a short circular platform made out of ice. Many Chevalier scholars have claimed that the village's existence is dubious at best, but it has not stopped aspiring poets from writing fairy tales of the jolly snowmen town in the north. <laughs> It's just Santa's workshop. Okay, I just realized how long I've been streaming for, and I, I, I really should stop now. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes, it is interesting that it that um, theoretically the the fog stops just at the edge of this village. But claims from adventurers like that are very questionable, of course. Who could who could say for sure what the truth is? <sighs> well, thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. And um, yeah, I will I will end the stream there.
can be found wrecking their way across the known world, yet no matter how far away they may be, all ogres consider the scattered tribal kingdoms that dominate the slopes and river valleys of the, of the mountains of Morn to be their rightful hard-earned homeland. They fight as thugs, bandits, and mercenaries, picking, that strong, uh, picking on the strong and the weak alike, battling mighty foes and powerful kingdoms thousands of leagues away. Which is what we'll be doing. Uh, they do this for the alluring promise of gold, plunder, and most importantly, meat. For their endless destruction and looting serves only to appease their gluttonous appetites and their ever-hungry god, the Great Moor. So, camps. Deploy camps to create forward base, constructing buildings and recruiting units from them. Meet each army sustained by meat and contracts. will be issued contracts. We're going to get into all of that once we get into the campaign proper. So, we are going to be playing as Scrag the Slaughterer, because he starts in the Empire. So he starts closest to where the halflings should be. So, Scrag the Slaughterer is a legendary prophet of the Great Moor revered by many who see him as the living embodiment of their god. Dragging his massive meat pot behind him, Scrag seeks out the brutal thrill of battle, hacking and ripping at his enemies in a glorious blood fueled dedication to the Great Moor. So campaign movement range plus 10% for all characters, I mean that's just an amazing bonus for any faction to be able to outrun anyone else. So yeah, if, if someone's trying to get away from us, we're going to catch them and we're going to put them in our pot, we're going to boil them up, it's going to be lovely. Mm. Tasty enemies. Uh, also, hero capacity, plus one for butchers. Butchers are the spellcasters of the Lore of the Great Maul, so we're going to be having uh, a few of those. And hero recruit rank goes up by two for them as well. Also, the Lord effects. Casualty replacement rate, plus eight percent for gorgers units. Gorgers are, uh, they've gone completely insane, given into their hunger, um, and they sort of live in caves and just eat whatever. They're pretty gross, and um, they really seem to like Scrag for some reason. Probably because of uh, him being the prophet of the Great Moor. They kind of see that in him and follow him. But they're really cool units, so it'll be really fun just spamming them because we're going to get them for half price. There's going to be 50% upkeep reduction for Gorgers, so we're going to be getting a lot of Gorgers. It's going to be fun. And we we'll play on Hard Hard because um, I've got to play on something, and that's what we're playing it on. So let's get to it. And so for the sake of introducing the faction to the, to the main story, I know you guys like the cutscenes, because I certainly like the cutscenes. I will show the introduction and uh, read this bit out as well, just so you have the context for, for when you'll be doing your own campaign, where maybe you'll actually be following the narrative. So, uh, yeah, pretend that this is irrelevant. Well, it is irrelevant, but I know you want to see it anyway. So the Ogre Kingdoms, a group of greedy, brutish tribes that fight with each other over riches and meat, are found in the uh, east across the mountains of Morn. Oftentimes, their violence spills out beyond the mountains, and so the Ogres roam far, occasionally even welcomed as mercenaries. Scrag, the prophet of the Great Moor, is such a wanderer, and that is why he makes such an ideal candidate for, his, uh, for this quest. I trek across the Chaos Wastes, avoiding the slave patrols of the Dark Lands, and at last to reach the Ogre Kingdoms. I fear I will not have long to make my case before the audience. Get hungry. The Ogres feast to honor Grisus the Over-Tyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time's up, wizard. No. Put him in the stew. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the path! Flesh me! <laughs> Please wait! The god is unfair! You can't devour it! Quiet! A bear, you say? Sounds tasty! Shut up! <sighs> and you meet god flesh. Enough for you, your warriors, and your god, the great maw. <sighs> I can smell it now. Roast god ribs. A feast! Like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop of Urson's divine blood. One drop. The ogres get the rest. That 
is the deal. Our goal is to claim Urson. The ogres will eat their weight in god flesh and throw the leftovers into the great maw. So obviously this is uh, such a typical ogre thing. There's a god, you can eat him, job done, right? Really straightforward. But I've gotta say, just seeing seeing them all up close like that, it, ugh, ogres freak me out. They are horrible creatures because they, they sort of fit into this uncanny valley thing. All of the other monsters, you know, all like Nurgles, you know, demons and things, all these things that are really disgusting, just don't come near what ogres look like because you get that uncanny valley thing they look like people but wrong and it's it's oh you know the horrible teeth it's just ugh, horrible i hate it i hate it i hate it but it should be fun because uh, we're wielding them so we'll just terrify everyone else it'll work out a great moor what should i do with this piece of gristle does it go in the pot no i say First, we listen to him. Then we can eat him. <laughs> if you need meat for your pot, then we should start with the dwarfs, great prophet. The Karaks will be tough to crack, but the taste is surely worth it. Further along the pass lie ruins. The Tome of Fates tells me that Skaven hide within. There isn't much flesh on the vermin, so you must slay plenty to fill the cauldron. And where the Grey Mountains end is the true treasure. Marienburg, a city rich in gold and supple flesh. Beyond lies the Empire. So much blood for your part. Enough to summon the rifts and hunt for god meat in the realms of chaos. Of course, it is possible to bypass the dwarfs and head straight for the heart of the Empire, which is ripe for plunder, but perhaps that's a riskier strategy. Listen to your gut, Great One. Let its rumble guide you, and together we will seek Urson and finally sate the Great Maw. Alright, good stuff. So, here is Scrag the Slaughterer. Uh, we have a bunch of mechanics, which we don't need to worry about right now, because I'm more interested in defeating this army. So, guided by the Great Moor, you have travelled far from the Ogre Kingdoms and into the Great Mountains. The trouble is, it's full of dwarfs. One of the throngs approaches. See them off. So, of course, we are um, we're going to go through the mountains anyway. I did say we're going to be defeating the Empire, but we need to get a base, and we're most at home in the mountains. So, the mountains are going to be the place we're first going to try and find food. So, that's what we're going to do. Hey there, buddy. Hey, uh, Higgin Boar, Granite Hand. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Students with ADHD save 10 hours studying with this Chrome extension. But no. All right, so uh, awesome to see Empire maps actually looking modern. You know, they're up to par with the other maps now. Just land battle map in the Empire. This is brand new, and it's so much better than the old stuff from Warhammer 1 that was still being used in Warhammer 2. It's like, there's just little dots of forest, uh, some impassable terrain, you know, hills, but it's not all just one-sided, you know, they can pitch up on various slopes, and it's just way more varied and interesting, which is absolutely amazing. And of course, there's an ogre army in it, which we'll have a look at. So, we have ogre bulls. Sheer brute strength, unending hunger, and barely enough wit to know fear. Nothing matters more to an ogre bull than his next meal. Too right. Uh, so they hit really hard, and uh, just, yeah, they're monstrous infantry. Pretty straightforward. They cause fear, because, I mean, why wouldn't they? Uh, they have ogre charge as well, so it actually ignores um, charge defense, or at least half of charge defense, which is really nice. So they still get some of their charge bonus applying. Noblars, they're basically a, a, a sort of offshoot race of goblins. Uh, much bigger ears and noses. Very fun. Very fun indeed. So vicious enough to be useful, but dim enough to be obedient. Noblars are commonly used as slaves, cannon fodder, ammunition, or appetizers. They're also quite uh, quite handy. Things like the sort of scrap launcher and things they make. Similar to other goblins. They like to tinker, you know? So that's a lot of fun. Uh, also, we have ogre bulls with dual weapons. 
So these are the anti-infantry variant of Ogre Bulls. So no Ogre truly needs weapons to pulverize his foes for his immense fists suffice, but all Ogres crave trophies. We also have the Gorges that are the, you know, the unit I was telling you about. We're going to be focusing on these guys. They are absolutely grotesque. Absolutely horrible. Wouldn't want to mess with them. You should see them running into combat. Well, you will see them running into combat. They're just, ugh. They just bound in. It's horrifying. So, outcast ogre whelps become ravenous, sinewy, cannibalistic horrors for reftable reason. Luckily, they do listen to Scrag, so thank God for that. So, we start with three units of them, which is amazing. We have Noblar Trappers. These are really useful. So, these guys have a missile attack. It's not the best in the world, but there are a lot of them, with 160 of them. But mostly, they have this uh, Noblar Traps ability. This can only happen once, and it happens automatically. But whenever enemies get close to them, it'll lower their speed, uh, charge speed, and charge bonus, and do a bit of damage. So these guys are really good on the defense when you have a bunch of ogres, because they also uh, they also have vanguard deployment and stalk, so you can get them anywhere you need them. But what happens is you have a bunch of ogres, the enemy don't see the Noblar Trappers, and they try and bowl into the ogres with a nice charge bonus. Ogres tend to have quite low armor. And then they end up having their charge ruined by the Noblar Trappers, and the Ogres can counter charge easily. So it gives them not just some chaff to sort of take the hits for the Ogres, but it also means that the hits are just much worse, so the Ogres can really capitalize. But I really like Trappers, I think they're a really interesting unit that really synergize brilliantly, so I love them. Also, we have these Sabre Tusk packs. So, hunting beasts made entirely of coiled muscle and bereptable fear. They are really horrible units they hit like absolute trucks very very powerful but they do rampage so you can end up having them become kind of useless if they get caught on a unit that you don't really want them to be fighting because they'll just rampage and they won't listen to orders anymore which is a bit of a problem and then of course we have scrag the slaughterer unbreakable brutal beyond measure and barely sane scrag heeds only the voice of the great moor sure he does sure thing so yep anti uh, armor and Bonus versus infantry. He's also got some spells as well, which we'll get into as we start unlocking them. So, uh, let's get you guys off to one side. Let's get our hounds over to another. Oh, you can't vanguard, silly me. And also, you're not selected. That would also help. Cool. Let's charge you lot in. And uh, so you'll notice, gorges can vanguard and they stalk. So, the dwarves cannot see them. Cannot currently see them which is very impressive. Really, really powerful thing to have. All right, we're actually gonna speed these guys up charging. Oh, I missed you, sorry, mate. Yeah, you can, you can run in. All right, so we did get a little bit spotted there. I say a little bit spotted, you're either spotted or you're not. But uh, we did, we did, we did get spotted. Uh, you know what, you can all go behind. So here we are, getting some work done. But god, look at these guys. Such exaggerated movements, they're really fun. And a dwarf just got thrown, like, 30 feet then. <laughs> That's really good. Such a joy. Ogres are really fun. They really are. And so we have a bunch of spells, so we can lower leadership by 16. So we're immediately going to break these guys. And then Bull Gorger is a big melee attack bonus. So we're going to give that to these gorges that are about to rear charge here. So now melee attack is up to 76. They've got that 46 charge bonus as well. They're, they're gonna swing and hit pretty damn hard. But yeah, they're a lot of fun ogres. They tend to get bogged down a lot, and they tend to get caught up on each other a hell of a lot, so you have to be incredibly careful about your initial engagement, because you will not be able to course correct easily. They will just get so stuck on each other that all sense of, like, I don't know, um, any sense of, like, distinct units, you know, sort of distinctness that each... Um, each individual unit has. No, it's just a blob. It's just a blob of ogres now. They're all going to be tangled in together and that's that. So as long as the initial engagement is good and you've got people, you know, where you want them initially, then you should be fine. But yeah, they don't half get tangled on each other. <laughs> it's all fun though. This guy's doing well to stay in the fight this long. And somehow not getting hit. It's just getting knocked over so often because that is entirely possible. He is in there, by the way. There he is. He is in there. Come on, Scrag. There you go. Good swim. Did you hit him? Not really. So he lowered his leadership by 16, but I'm not sure that's even enough. Come on. Fear should do the rest, right? Come on, mate. Yeah, he's just not having it. The rest of the army's gone. Come on. 
Okay, they're not gone. Go handle these dwarves. Oh, and look at that, the trap sprung. So these guys have their speed sundered, so they only have 15 speed now. Let's run away from them. But isn't that fun? You can charge these guys in. Speed hits, it also does some additional damage. And you can see this damage hitting them. And, uh, and then here come the ogres. That attacks just the stragglers rather than the whole unit, but that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Amazing. All right, so let's see if we can't um, get his leadership low enough again. We'll try. There we go. Looks like we got him now. See, so being able to sunder leadership is brilliant. I really love that as a spell, especially like an early spell. Especially with the description is amazing. The spellcaster chops through a severed skull, gobbling up the brain of the 